Ooh. Um. Okay, I heard a tweet. Guys, if you haven't yet, retweet the going live tweet. Hi, Dark Carl. Hi, Simper. Hi, Lumi. Hi, Rob. Hi, Al. Hi, Logan. Hi, Silver. Hi, Lundroid. Nice. Silver G. Congratulations. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Silver G. Is G spotter of the day. Why won't it let me post that? What the hell? Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold up, wait up, wait up. Rob, thank you for the bits. Al, thank you so much for gifting two subs. One to um Adam's family and the other to Tuesday Adam. Sandbar! I'm in her bits. Holy crap, I'm gonna kill you, Storm. Storm. How's the weather? The forecast looks stormy. Oh! Hello? Hi, Stormy. How you been? Yep, yep. You better uh, get your, those running shoes on because the fleet's coming after you now. I, I, You know what? If I'm being honest, yes, I'd be scared of the fleet if I were you. So lace up, bitch. See you in the chat. Hi, Lumi. Yeah, baby. Hi, Silver. Good morning, Sweet Ginger. Hi, Philip. Snatch. Good morning, Ginger. I mean, Morticia, aka Wednesday's mom. Rob, thank you for 100 bit. How's the weather stork? <laughs> the forecast looks stormy. Jackson, I'll do you wink in a second. Sinper, thank you so much for 500 bits. Let me get you on the board. Toil, welcome in, Lyle. How's it going? I got you, Rob. T hype on a Tuesday? I should have known. Oh, damn. A 10 right away. Toil, congrats. Let's get you in the giveaway. I need some attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get Rob on the board. Let's get Al on the board. Thank you, guys. You rang, Mrs. Adams? Oh, my gosh. Carlos, welcome in. My hello got missed. It didn't. I'm not even there yet. Patch, hello. How are you? Uh, made a few ideas for your merch and stream ideas on Discord. Oh, speaking of, I gotta open up Discord, right? Right, 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 right. Fox, Philip, hello. I'm sorry, I haven't been here in a while. Needed some attention. Uh, guys, hi, hello, welcome in. Simper, thank you so much. Guys, we're on a level one hype train. Can't we make it to level two? My music seems weird today. Every, every day, there's something. Simper, thank you so much for the bit. Get you on the board. Apollo, I'll be honest, some of them are already on the cards. Okay, move over. All the things need to get out of my way. Hi, yeah, I love your cosplay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Unfortunately, like you can't see the whole thing, but this is what I'm hoping. Maybe next year, maybe the year after, I will be downstairs and I will have a lot more space and I could like show you guys full length stuff and I'll have a stand up desk dreams and such west coast hello siegfried thank you for the follow welcome to the g-spot you found it west coast joe thank you so much hey girl what's your name morticia your music seems weird to me every day okay boomer wow i need to play the adams family theme song theme song you should because i unfortunately cannot the lips we've got that red lip classic uh, love, welcome in. How are you? Police G's, I hop on chat. I hop on and chat blows up. The do be like that. Drop in, guys. Drop in. Exclamation drop. Hi. Happy Tuesday. How's everyone doing? Hello, Morticia Bread Beauty. Hello, Sputnik. Welcome in. How's everybody doing today? Patch, how have you been, my friend? I'm going to drop in as well. AC, how's it going? According to me, I already had followed, but Twitch is being Twitch. Well, Twitch do be Twitch sometimes. I'll oh, thank you for the bitty guys. 75% through level one hype. Can we make it to level two? My sleeves? Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I went outside in six degree weather, which is, I don't even know what it is in freedom height, but it it's not very warm out there. And I did my best to take some pictures. Oh my freaking Let God. Let Thank you so much. Um, I gotta get a drink, six degrees Celsius. Yeah, so I went outside to try to take pictures. It didn't take much to keep my skin super, super light for the cosplay at all, obviously. So 42 degrees outside, my house is outside taking pictures. It's only gonna get colder here. Let's be serious. Lendroid, get in the G-spot. 
Guys, we are level three from that. Thank you. Star Fox, welcome in. You done anything to keep it light? Nope, not really. I put a little bit of like lighter concealer kind of like all over my face, but... Ledroid, you're the first in the G spot this week. The neighbors were happy. It wasn't a trash One bag. Hey, Socrates, now. three months. You know what that means. You're stuck with us. Thank you so much uh, for the resub. I appreciate you. Let's get you on the board. We are 38% through choo, level choo. three, guys. Can we make it to level four? How you doing, Socrates? Welcome in. Ooh, close. We got Lyle with a 98.02. I did that G spot. Yeah, you did. So I was thinking because you know, like the Adams Family is a pretty old sitcom. Is it? Is it a sitcom? I don't know. I was thinking about turning my camera black and white. And you guys, I'm gonna do it right now and let me know what you think because it could be fun. It could be a cute like thing today. So let me go here and I basically just turn the saturation all the way down right is it weird it's a bit weird but i don't hate it fine i'll sing chat they're creepy and the kooky mysterious and spooky they're all together ooky the adams family you can do it black and white it looks good i just pretend you sweet ginger philip let me get you in the giveaway okay i love it you like the black and white everything else is gonna stay color except for me i like it black and white if only if you could only make it black and white but have your lips red that would be cool that would be cool this is hot you want ginger to sing hang on let me get some bits ah no oh you've got two and a half minutes uh guys thank you so much for the train we are 30 percent through level three can we make it to level four hello hello we'll do wilson in a second lyle looks like you are the winner lyle All right, here comes Wilson and Al. There you on the on the beady board. Cringe. I love the silver G. Hello. <laughs> Fun fact: I never watched anything from the Adams Family. I don't remember any of it either. I've watched the first episode of Wednesday. Um, I'm pretty sure I've like, watched like I've seen clips of the old show. But uh, are you guys surprised even a little bit that I haven't seen it really? People coming in seeing stream pick will be confused with the black and white. People coming in or seeing the stream pick will be so confused with the black and white. I haven't seen I haven't seen much of anything. Let's be serious, guys. Let's be serious. I've never even seen Wednesday. Well, it's okay. My daughter watched it, so I've seen some parts of it. And I watched the first episode of like no. myself, but that's no. it. My favorite were the movies with no. Christina Ricci. I remember that. Maybe I have seen the movie. Is something wrong with her camera? <laughs> Guys, 61% now. We're over halfway through level three with one minute remaining. Can we make it to level four? I should because I'm a huge Tim Burton guy. I feel like I remember Christina Ricci as Wednesday, but it could just be like because it was pop culture. I've seen all the Adams Family. I've not. I posted her pick in Taco. Oh, guys, today is Taco. By the way, I remember liking Uncle Fester and Wednesday from the old one. Video is still in color. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? I come back from the bathroom. My computer's all fucked up. Where's my color? Is Slary Lurch? I don't think he's tall enough for that. Christina Ricci is in the Windays. Wait, Windays? In the Wednesday series. I do know that, Schizo guys. 668 Choo -choo! just redeemed glasses. Guys, 20 seconds to save that train. Can we do it? This is kind of a cool vibe. This is kind of a cool vibe. Let me test this. You rang. Wendy. <laughs> Don't forget the wink, Jackson. Here we go. Seven seconds! Flashbang. Okay, guys, thank you so, so, so much for the train. I appreciate you. We got 62% level three hype. Wink in black and white. Nice. All right, let's turn down the music a little bit. So today, what do we have going today? We have stream raiders. We're in the marbles category. I don't know if they have drops. I don't know if it's better if we're in... Oh, these are gonna be black and white. I don't know if it's better if we're in the nitro category. 
I don't know, ginger overexposed by flashbang? That's never happened before. That would be the four that would be oh, Forrest Gump dark. trying to call West Day. <laughs> Hi Katniss, there are marbles drops. Okay, we'll stay we'll stay in the marbles category. Hopefully we don't get a lot of grinders coming in here upset upsetty spaghetti that we're not actually playing. Maybe we'll roll some in the I don't know. I don't know. It's me. I'm feeling like I'm watching an old Hollywood movie with the black and white. That's good. Death becomes you, beauty. I want to show you guys a picture, though, that I took. Uh, that's going to be on Schmonely. I'm not showing Schmonely because you're not allowed to do that. But how cool is this picture? Wow. Anyway, look forward to that on Schmoly Schmans. Gingerbread death. I'm a grinder and I'm upsetty spaghetti. There are marbles drops. Nitro just ended its latest season. Yes, okay, perfect. And I remember people always boosting that Dutch actor Carol Stroop Strike playing Lurch. I don't know how to say that. Well, that's hot. Black and white, it's hard to see, but it looks good. The photo itself is actually black and white too, so it's perfect. Morticia bread beauty. <laughs> no color. We're gonna we're gonna mess around like this for a little while and then I'll turn the color back on. I'm shitty today. Ted Cassidy played Lurch. Ted Cassidy. That is one huge motherfucker. Speaking of which, I need to get Discord all set up and ready for today. Let's do that. And then we got to get Stream Raiders ready for today. Captain Hub, let's open that up, get that started. Another fun fact, when I was in high school, my percussion ensemble did Adam's Family Meets the Monsters. It was epic. I'm making dinner and doing laundry and getting packed. How exciting! Woo! How exciting! All right, I've got to update stream raiders, so I might have a little bit of lag. Just hold in, hold in, hold on. And you might experience lag now. Uh, hi, hi, what's for dinner? Hold in. Hey, Mr. Design, good evening, Ginger. Your camera seems to have run out of colors. I didn't fill up the color uh, packet. You know, they get kind of expensive. All right, let's open up Discord. I'm gonna go to Taco. I'll be right there. Chaos. Ah, Carolyn Jones, the original Morticia. Hold on, let's see. Let's open up Discord, guys. Taco Tuesday. I gotta pop over and open up this as well. Give me a second, guys. And don't forget, we have Tangia. Don't forget, there's Tangia. I tried to look for something that was Adam's family related so that we could have like, you know, a TTS sort of Adam's family. There's nothing like that. So I just turned back on the 50s commercial thing that was used yesterday. I feel like it sort of fit. Uh, T minus five days till I move. Where are you headed, Mr. Design? They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together. Uki. The Adams family. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god. Take these off. Okay. Al, T minus five days till I move. Hey Ginger, I got you for Tim's. Jackson, let me get you in the giveaway. Tangia, there it is. The glasses make the the glasses go with the outfit, right? I'm very gothic today. I break out into hives. The flesh peels off my bones. I got a house in Michigan. Awesome. Are you excited? Are you happy to move? Hey, did my PC lose color? Been running around like crazy. Um, I've never actually, so when I moved to this house, I actually owned both houses at the same time. So it was very, very chill to move. Oh my God, where are my fellow Canadians? I watched a doc on Mr. Dress Up the magic of the make-believe last night and balled my face off. Oh my gosh. Speaking of monsters, how does Frankenstein monster and vampire make a werewolf child? Don't know. Michigan hype. Hello, Robert. I left a puzzle just for you. Ooh, I want to play in the jeans, Dark Carl. 
in the jeans. Gee, you're looking a little pale there. What else is new, Sappy? Right? This stream brought to us by Robert Rodriguez, starring Ginger as a badass dame on a mission. Uh, Lisa, when he died in the morning announcements, when he died on the morning announcements in high school, they played his theme. Some questions may never been answered. I'm winterizing the farm for when me and the missus enjoy Christmas Wonderlands. Aw, yeah, but then! Okay, all right, guys, let's see if, um, Raiders is ready. Excellent. Okay, pause. It's time to retweet the going live tweet if you haven't, or repost the going live post. If you haven't seen it, here it is. We already have 32. You guys are on it. I remember when we'd like, I know. We'd be like, let's get to 25. Let's get to 30 retweets. Now I'm 30 retweets in before I even start, which is insane. Thanks, guys. Ah, so sweet. I feel it got lost a bit because he died seven days after 9-11. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe the parents from the Munsters adopted him. We'll never know. I saw that episode. Hey, cat adorable. I both enjoy and dislike seeing cats in here. There's another cat. Hold on. Cat adorable. Hello. Welcome in first time chatter. How are you? How'd you find us? Cat two? Cat two? Welcome in. I saw that episode. There's my throne. Um, no. Um, no. From Aces. I just oh, kidding. So Kat, um, and I know each other from Ace's stream. Kat is also a very big Swifty, which is why we're like, Hello, yeah, gingerbread beauty, Stephanie Lott, gingerbread beauty. Pretty much like besties. I'm just kidding. Cat fight? Cat three, isn't it? That's true, Dark Carl. Hello, Governor. Rusty, welcome in. I also know a cat from Ace's. Uh, so how's it going, Cat? Welcome in. It's nice to, to see you here. If you guys haven't yet, retweet the going live tweet and it's also, also, pause again, YouTube, okay? If you guys are able to have a tab open to watch one of my YouTube VODs or maybe put on a playlist for the montages in the background, watching my stream, that would be freaking awesome. Exclamation YT, exclamation YouTube. It's free to sub over there. Do you guys want some color for a bit? Let's put on some color for a bit. We'll go back and forth. We'll go Shut back and forth. Up, Ginger. This is an awesome look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did some really cool pictures. I, I might have only actually gotten like three. No. no. Photos. No. That Boo. will work. But anyway, I put playlist on before I left for work this morning. Thank you. I kind of deserve that. Hello. What did you break? <laughs> did you break the color spectrum? That would be something I'd be able to break. Let's be honest. Uh, yes, you look smashing today. Ooh. I also have a rose. Fun fact, I got this rose from the Chicago musical on Broadway when I was in New York. They were throwing roses into the crowd from the last little rose thing. And I caught one. Kamikaze, hi. Command add cat three. There are no other cats allowed. Katniss 12 TTV is the main cat. It's better in black and white. You want me to go black and white? We can do that. Do you even bother doing cosplay shoes even though we can't see below the desk? I did for photos. For photos, I wore some heels because this dress has like a train behind it. Um, whether or not it's actually going to be showcased in any of the photos, I don't know. I am not wearing shoes. <laughs> more classic. Happy birthday, G. I mean, more Tisha. I mean, Ginger. But it's still not my birthday. My pun went unacknowledged. It's fine. I deserve it. Hold on, let me scroll back. Where is it? Cats go Mew, maybe call them Mew too. Oh my God. Kamikaze, how you doing? Choo choo? Huh? <laughs> Having peri peri fish with rice and fried peppers. I don't know if I've ever had peri peri fish. Okay, I'm gonna pop back over to black and white cause that seems to be a hit. So let's do it. Can I shift the hues a bit? Although, even though it is black and white. Camera, what does this do? Hmm. It seems a little... Hmm. 
now I'm having way too much fun. How's that? Is that good? Okay. Looks like old TV. This is why you can't have nice things. You're always breaking stuff. This is so true. Not really, but I like shoes. Katniss, would you please like to share dinner with me? Uh, but is the dress so tight that you can barely walk in it? No. So here's the thing. When I put it on my wish list, I chose a medium because it was coming from China or some foreign place and all their clothes are built so, 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 so tiny that I was like, I need to Fatality. size up just in case, right? Because I'm, I'm probably a small, right? But I thought I'd size up because it's better if something's bigger then I can't fit into it. Except if it's a Morticia Adams dress because I should be squeezed in it like a sausage that can't walk. You know what I mean? So unfortunately I made a poor choice. It's a little bit big. It still looks good though. I actually really like how it fits me. All right, stream raiders guys. Uh, looks like uh, much better than, looks like, <laughs> looks much like our first stream quality. Bye. <laughs> not wrong does the screen keep dimming or am i passing out Ooh, no this is such a good okay this one's better than the first black and white i feel like it's got a little more of like a thing happening who's in the kick chat who's in the kick chat someone get her to speak french oh we 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 francais tish you spoke french speak some more uh savage one <laughs> Speaking of francais, Savage One, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the G-Spot. You found it. But sausages don't normally walk, right? So what you're saying is we need to get another one in a smaller size. No, 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 no. It's totally fine. I'll just eat a bunch of marshmallows. Or cheesecake. I want s'mores. Wee, wee, wee. Star Fox, congratulations. I'm just extremely frustrated and annoyed. Today is great. Those two sentences don't go together. I'm just kidding. I, I sense the sarcasm. I hope your day turns around and you become less frustrated and annoyed, Sputnik. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Go to the bathroom then. All right, here's our battle, guys. Exclamation SR if you would like to play Stream Raiders. I'd love to be your captain. Let me do some battle planning here. It's very, very strategy. There we go. All right, we also have Discord open, guys. If there's anything you want to share with me, pop over to Discord. What do we have here? Oh, this. So Tinker put this. Okay. So Tinker put this in the other day, said it looked a little like me. I feel like there's an area in which maybe it doesn't. And I don't know, maybe you guys can help me figure out which part maybe doesn't look so much like me. Hmm, I can't put my finger on it. Did I miss show socks? Oh, I'm not doing that because I'm not wearing socks. It's the glasses. I think Rob's right. What do you guys think? Oui, 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 fromage, baguette, escargot. Guys, be clipping this shit. It's going in the montage. Um, speaking of all the, the housekeeping rules, retweet, watch the montages, and always be clipping. The ABCs always be clipping. It really helps me after stream and I appreciate it so much. Background isn't purple. That's, that's another thing. That's definitely not giving ginger. You're right. The background's not purple. The glasses, there's something, there's something else. Here's Morticia, ginger. the OG Morticia. She's so pretty. Oh my God. She's so pretty. What this is? Oh my God. That's so funny, Stormy. So this is what it looks like right now. People are like, what the hell? What the hell is going on with this girl's stream? All right, so Discord is open for anybody who wants to share a photo of something that they like, maybe their costume, um, something that you've done this week, something that you've eaten this week. We're going to actually even go into food porn because we almost never go into food porn and we need to do that. So if you have a delicious snack, maybe you've carved a pumpkin or you want us to check out something. Maybe you have a pet picture. Maybe you have a selfie that you want to share. Go pop it in the Taco Tuesday section of Discord. Look at her little necklace though. I don't have like an emerald necklace like that. That's pretty. Is this girl okay? My response, no, she is not. Healing magic card, all right, give me a second. Timmy, five months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, go up hot, go up. Ginger at night, you know the late night lineup for Ginger Lodian. 
Shivis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the G spot. You found it. Tell me how to. How'd you find your way in here? That was weird. Hi, Ronan. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, so our card is encountering conflict. I don't choose sides. I take a stand. You can't see that whatsoever. I don't choose sides. I take a stand. Encountering conflict. Okay. Okay. That's. That's okay, I guess. All right, my hot. Did I do my hot yet today? Hold on, guys. Pause again. A five. Okay, that's fair. Morticia was based on vamp Vampira? 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 Another similar character. I do feel like um, this is so, so similar to like a vampire cosplay that I've done in the past. Uh, which I probably will do again. But we'll definitely have the color on for that one. Star Fox, congratulations on your 10. Vampira? Vampira. Vampira. Did you get my Tinder earlier? I did not. All right, Dark Carl, congratulations. Two today. Star Fox. So hot, Star Fox. GG's. Okay, here's our battle, guys. Exclamation SR if you want to play Stream Raiders. I'd love to be your captain. Don't forget to retweet the going live tweet. Dark what, Carl, take a seat. What are you doing, Dark Carl? Uh, okay. So, yeah, everything else is going to be through Discord if you guys want to share a picture of anything. I'm all eyeballs. But in the meantime, let's pop over to food porn. Kibasa with Brussels sprouts and mustard cream sauce with red wine. God, Delicious. Damn it, damn it. I'm a 10. GG Sputnik. But Nick. You're in the giveaway. Boom. I'm a I'm a 100. Logan. Holy crap. GG's Logan. Vampira um, looks similar to that ginger pig Ooh, look, you showed. Get off my a lawn. You will go. Take a nap here. I don't know. It just said Dark Carl take a seat. So I was getting concerned. Okay, this looks good. So these are just like roasted red peppers. Nap. What are you doing napping? It's like 10 a.m., isn't it? This looks good. Okay, who in the chat likes Brussels sprouts? I love Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Oh, okay. I used to hate them. Really? Okay, so I feel like when I was younger, like when I was a child, I probably did not like Brussels sprouts, but like... I love them now. I love them now, especially roasted. Brussels sprouts are legit. Honestly, I've never had them, Boo! but sometimes, okay. I don't know if it's something to do with maybe the way they're cooked. Sometimes the inside can get like this mushy texture, which is so freaking bad. Blech. If prepped properly, they can be amazing facts. I used to hate them too, still hate them, but I used to also. It is fair. I'm wearing a hoodie right now from a streamer called Gingerbread Beauty. Have you heard of her? No, never heard of her. <laughs> no, thanks. You don't like Brussels sprouts. Okay, so sometimes, like I said, sometimes the inside can get like this weird pastiness, depending on how it's cooked. But when they're cooked good, they're so freaking delicious. I have a feeling Alkirian cooked them properly, though, because, yeah, I'm guessing the sausage and Dewey probably cancels out those vile weeds oh my gosh what do we have here scallops and shrimp in garlic lemon butter with spaghetti and roasted broccoli i would sell my soul for scallops i freaking love scallops so much do you guys like i know this is al's dish al obviously loves scallops as well unless he doesn't like them only way i like them if they're fried in bacon fat everything fried in bacon fat is delicious fun fact they did some things to to them so brussels sprouts taste way better than they did in the 90s shut up seriously cat vampire was also the inspiration for elvira according to cassandra peterson okay that makes sense elvira i probably thought was vampire because the streamer i'm looking at right now is and talking definitely isn't ginger i'm not i'm not gingerbread beauty she took the day off what do you mean 
I love scallops. I'll take a perfectly, I'll take a perfect scallop over lobster all day. Yo, same. Absolutely. Like, don't get me wrong. I love lobster too. I like crab probably more than I like lobster, but scallops top all of those things. Yum, yum, yum. That's the point, Ginger. What's the point? I'm a scallop. I'm also a scallop lover. Did you know that Elvira has a wife? What? She's always taking days off. I know she's so terrible at this streaming thing. Ugh. Robert Vike, hello, shrimp. Oh, I love shrimp too. Um, I know a lot of people can't do like shrimp texture. Like it's got like this crunchy poppiness to it. Um, but I love shrimp. I like baby shrimp. I like jumbo shrimp. I like coconut shrimp. Oh my God, am I <laughs> Papa Gump? <laughs> Rips the wig off Ginger. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. What I missed? Ginger has a wife too. Dark Carl, stop! Oh my god, thank you. That's an expensive gift. Thank you so much. Whoa. Whoa, seriously. Thank you. You know what's crazy? Okay. Okay, listen. There's a whole thing that has to do with this. There's a whole situation, and this is for Mullet's bedroom. So basically what we're trying to do, she's got this little nook in her room that she wants to put her bed in on top of shelves like that. So picture that shelf that you just bought. Thank you, by the way. Holy crap. Turned sideways. So we're that's why there's two on the please don't feel pressured to buy the second one. It'll it'll happen or I will purchase it. Please chill. But GG's fill up. Let me get you in the giveaway. Um, so picture those shelves on their side with like those little cube storage. Like this is basically the shelves that you just bought. So picture it on its side with the bed on top, like in the little nook. So it's kind of like a loft style, I guess. And she can have her books in the shelf below her bed to give her more space like out of the room. So thank you so much. Turn that nook sideways and duck straight up. Never mind. <laughs> she did it all for the nookie. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So thank you so much, Dark Carl. I appreciate that very, very much. I'm sure she will as well. And the, the best part about this <laughs> is that we were literally talking about it last night. Um, and I said, like, you know, we'll figure it out eventually. So thank you. I'll not go crazy, Ginger. I'll leave another one for someone else to treat Mullet. Thank you, Dark Carl. Lisa, don't believe that hot score. You're at least triple that. I love shellfish. I'm not big on non shellfish unless it's deep fried. I like all seafood. I like most fish. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, not me with Forrest Gump accent quoting the movie just then. <laughs> I love that. Karamia, you look beautiful today. Popcorn shrimp, buffalo shrimp. Baba Gump, next stream's cosplay. I enjoy scallops too. I used to work for a Michelin star chef in college and he made me bacon wrapped scallops for lunch that were amazing i love bacon wrapped anything also only if here's the tricky part with wrapping things in bacon i'm like salivating um sometimes the bacon cannot be cooked enough and that right there is maddening so it's almost like you got to pre-cook the bacon a little bit wrap the item and then finish cooking yeah she came out publicly last year or something who? That cooking thing in bacon fat makes everything better. Absolutely. I don't mind Brussels sprouts. I was brought up on TV shows making fun of how bad they are. But then when I was in high school and they tasted like fried cabbage. So good. So good. Not me with a Forrest Gump accent. Um. Hi, Dino. Ginch didn't even see my first chat. Chris Prime. Sorry, I'm falling behind. You're right. I didn't. But what else is new? This Whoa. is Sparta! Oh, thank you. Turn that... Wait, Karamea, you look beautiful. Oh, because I had to scroll back. You may like my food in... F you may like my food in food? Like, put in the food porn? All this talk food scampy. Absolutely. Uh, I wrapped myself in bacon once. I would have eaten you. What? Miss working at Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster, too. I know it's, like, some, like, commercialized place, but... I freaking love the biscuits there. Oh my gosh. I like you better in Technicolor. We had color on for a bit. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, I don't like fatty, rubbery bacon. Exactly. Hear me out. Cook the bacon, then dip it in pancake batter. Pancake wrapped bacon. 
I have had that. It's pretty damn good, especially with maple syrup. Apollo, thank you so much. God fucking damn it, Dave. Uh, the last time I had crabs was my bachelor party. I love how you always manage to squeak that in there. That is hilarious to me. Uh, that cheddar bay biscuits, though. Um, I make the red lobster biscuits all the time. Yum. Hi, charming, charming, red haired beauty. You look amazing. All the best to you. Alexander, hello. Welcome in. Soft shell crab is my favorite. I love the gamey taste in the body. Here's the thing about stuff that has gamey taste. Like you think like something like a moose or something has like a gamey flavor or like a certain type of fish that tastes fishy. Like that's the whole point. And I freaking love that. I love that. It's ironic that the scampi was so expensive. They started using monkfish and that got too expensive. So they changed it to scampi. Change it to scampi. Here we have Lisa's turkey dinner. There is nothing quite like a turkey dinner. I love a turkey breast. I love potatoes and gravy. I love stuffing and carrots and beans and butternut squash and turnip and rolls and ugh, something so delicious about everything that has to do with the turkey dinner. And then having turkey dinner leftovers the next day, or like Lisa said yesterday, a hot turkey sandwich or turkey soup. Ooh. Are subs cheaper for black and white streams? You got it, Sourcey. This looks fabulous. Absolutely, it does. The carrots were from my garden. Fresh garden carrots, too. Good morning, Alex. I want to smother myself in that gravy. That gravy looks so good. I'm literally salivating. Turkey dinner and the leftovers are so good. There's something about turkey dinner leftovers the next day at lunchtime. And you guys know what I'm talking about. This might be disgusting, but like, you know, when you like go to get the gravy out of whatever container you've stored it in and you can literally scoop it out and it's like almost solid. You got to like plop it on the potatoes and the and the and the meat and the stuffing and then microwave it and like it then it melts. But like <laughs> it's so gross to think about. It's fucking amazing, though. Thank you, Kevtech. The gravy jello. Yes. And you're like, this can't be good. But it's delicious, so you don't care. I eat my gravy, but go off, I guess. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, I did that yesterday for our hot turkey. Pog, hi, welcome in. Turkey day leftovers are the best part about turkey day. Honestly, I feel like there's something about the flavors, like sitting and then eating it the next day. It just like amps it up that extra little bit. Mm. And it's like wholesome, delicious, home cooked, like that, that comfort food vibe. Oh, I love it. Anyway, turkey dinner. We got Rex's homemade nan pizzas. N nan? Na nan pizzas for dinner. Made some homemade nan bread. And that was used to make pepperoni pizza tonight. Did you cook these in like an air fryer? Because the other day, the other day, I made the kids um, tortilla pizza wraps and put them in the freaking air fryer. They came out so good. And one of my kids didn't like it. This is the story of my life. I'm honestly constantly trying to find something that both the kids will eat. It doesn't exist. That's the goodness in it. No, that's the half pound of flour you put in it. I use, um, I make a slurry if I'm making gravy because I cannot have flour. So I always use cornstarch, but yeah, it's definitely fat. <laughs> Probably having more leftovers today. I will eat turkey dinner for like a month. Hello, yeah, gingerbread beauty. Definitely not gingerbread beauty. Don't knock it till you try it. Wait, what are Dave and Rusty talking about? I want to smother myself in gravy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, gosh. Oh, my God. Uh, cooking for the kids is annoying sometimes. It's annoying every time. Honestly, if you're making dinner in the house, there's four different meals going on at all times because I only eat whole foods. I know I'm the problem. I know I am part of the problem because there's a lot that I can't eat. But there's a lot that my kids won't eat and they won't eat the same things either. Ugh. The moment when Ginger regrets going back. <laughs> I'd eat it. Hey, Ginger, did you see my hot at the start? I did, Toil. You're in the giveaway. Congratulations. All right. We also have Dark Carl. His niece was over, so they made coconut cheese mini loaves. I don't know what a coconut cheese mini loaf is, but I would eat that. Promptly die. But I would eat that. Uh, toffee, honeycomb, and she made her own chocolate bars. That is so cool. Need to do a lot a taster palette for the kids to find food. They won't even here. Do you want to know what they'll both eat? Probably pasta. That's it. That's the only thing that they'll both actually eat. 
like i you know spent some time in the kitchen on freaking sunday i made a, a chicken dinner with green beans and potatoes they couldn't even get along with that so stupid winner winner chicken dinner that looks so good oh yum gnocchi maybe maybe they like gnocchi i'm not sure one had last night for dinner we had one kid that ate this uh, gluten-free like mac and cheese this white cheddar mac and cheese on shells thing we freaking cut up hot dogs in it and the other kid wanted pierogies and then i had leftover soup and it's, it's just constantly coming from all ugh, can't go wrong with kd but then speaking of kd kid she wouldn't freaking eat it because she looked at the box and it was expired by like two days so in the garbage that went hello flowerson even for spaghetti i have to have two plates with no sauce same here and then my youngest will sometimes have sauce oh my god look at this uncle v <gasps> yum oh thanksgiving my favorite food holiday it was a bit overkill when i was younger my mom would drag me to three or four thanksgiving dinners in one day and there would always be one old lady that would keep trying to tell me to grab something to eat. And I would keep saying, no, I just came from a dinner. And then she would bring me a plate. Okay, so on that topic, I used to do wedding photography. Um, and the city near me is really, really just, it's like little Italy. It's full of Italians. So every house that I went to to do like the getting ready photos, there's always that little Italian grandma that's trying to make sure everybody's fed. So she's walking around with plates of food. Eat, 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 eat. Constantly. Plus the dinners at the weddings themselves. How extravagant, like seven course meals. Plus they have that massive spread right when you walk in the door with all the different meats and like the tomatoes with the mozzarella. And oh my gosh, I loved shooting Italian weddings. So good. Gold Wizard, that's for you. Apollo again, thank you so much for the bits. I should eat the top. You probably should. Smart kid. A true Canadian Thanksgiving. It's only two days, Rob. What's two days? Oh, yeah. oh fuck crap dinner stuff like that that's like zombie apocalypse food that shit that doesn't go bad well i wouldn't want i wouldn't have eaten something old either oh it was probably fine damn that looks like medianaki Me medianaki am i saying that right listen we have okay the problem was she was like oh mom i really want mac and cheese craft dinner canadians call it with with cut up hot dogs and i'm like that's disgusting but i could do that so i got the cut up hot dogs and freaking pot of boiling water okay i started making the meal and then i realized we didn't have any actual craft dinner all we had was the gluten-free white cheddar shells that were two days expired it's not like they were made basically what's in it guys is pasta and a packet of powdered shit that's probably so fake anyways it probably can't go bad it probably literally could never rot even if you tried to make it rot like mcdonald's type thing right media noche media noche yeah i tried i tend to make a crap ton of food even if it's just me and one of my sisters the italian comes out of me i loved shooting italian weddings the food was always so good hey cut up hot dogs and katie is badass yes i'm 40 shut up honestly so i got started with that what am i supposed to do just Make her fucking hot dog soup. Just pour the hot dogs in a bowl with the hot dog flavored water. Agreed. And ketchup. <gasps> no, ma'am. It's a roll that is sweet bread. Medianote. I don't know. Who is this Katie and why are we chopping her up and eating her? You know, sometimes you're hungry. Kid, this looks busting. This looks busting. Oh my God, Rexus, yum. All the donuts. We already looked at these, I believe. So if anybody else has food picks, share them. Oh my God, Ao Dieter, look at that. That almost looks like a beaver tail with like that's underneath here. I mean, don't hate the, I mean, I don't hate ketchup on it. I, but I don't like, I just don't like ketchup. Hey grandma, is your cam from the forties? Fifties ass. Look at my photo in food porn. Okay, I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We skipped past Rusty here. Lasagna and cheesecake. Ah! Listen, I freaking love cheesecake. Love cheesecake. It's so hard to, like, avoid. When I went to New York, I found a gluten-free, sugar-free cheesecake. So fucking good. 
so fucking good. The Cheesecake Factory actually has a sugar-free cheesecake that's gluten-free. I love lasagna. I love cheesecake. Uh, as long as it isn't the sun or go through lots of hot cold or get wet, it should be fine. Exactly. It was, a, it was a cool, dry place. Mine is at the bottom. Okay. Yes, please do strawberry beaver tails. Hot sauce is good in it. Wait, like in, in KD, in, like in craft dinner. My mom used to do like fried up ground beef. So she would fry up some ground beef, onions, and celery. And then she'd throw that in the KD with like salsa corn and some other stuff and it would be like this freaking mexican sort of like she put taco seasoning on the ground beef and make craft dinner like that so good new york style cheesecake yes i just performed a ginger scale drop of a dozen eggs i wish i had a video gotta do some mopping stop it shut up Lendroid. that sucks yes in katie okay you're not wrong there i i would like that i love how you call it craft dinner it's a Canadian thing. Canadians call it craft dinner for some reason, even though it's mac and cheese. I don't know why. I wish that I had, I wish that I had a box of craft. Malice, Malice will tell you. Hey, Malice, by the way. Um, I wish I had a box of craft dinner. Like it's, it's what it says, craft dinner. Mac and cheese is actually probably on a smaller like font. Malice, I see a VIP in the chat that is unsubbed. Who's going to be the first to do it? She's telling truth. Chris Prime, thank you. Thank you. Maybe, maybe, Lisa, do, do any of you have a box of craft dinner laying around? Kojak, thank you. You're going on BOD. How's it going, Kojak? Thank you. Is she broken or is it me? It's you. I don't know where I'm going to put you, like, my shoulder, because I guess I could put you, like, dead center. We've got, like, lots going on here today, so. Also, I'm loving the cosplay today. Thank you. Good. Just got off work. How's it going with you? It's going so well. We're talking about foodstuffs today. Well, we didn't mean to be, but this is where we ended up. I actually don't, for once, I need to go grocery shopping. Boiled hot dogs, malice, boiled hot dogs, and craft dinner. I think we have KD cups because I love the buffalo wings one and it only comes in the cups. I've never even seen that. She's being fancy. All right, here we got starfish. We got, what is this? We have catfish and wings and sides from my food, sides from my food from Keys Loaded Kitchen. I've never had catfish, I don't think. So fancy. This looks delicious. Is that dessert over here? Is this like a lemon loaf? Is this... Baked beans, coleslaw. We got like a bun going on here. This looks delicious. Star Fox, what is it? Talk to me. Uh, the toffee broken up. Oh, okay, that looks really good. The catfish looks fire. I'm guessing that's cornbread. Okay, so here's the thing about cornbread. Can't help myself. Cannot help myself, can never help myself. I freaking love cornbread. Pound cake bun. It's pound cake. Okay. I thought so. Because if you look at the side here, let me open this in browser. Look at the side here. You got a bit of like a, a I feel like that's a glaze on it, right? Did I shorten that? I did. I did not mean to. Yeah, I've had the hot dog plus Katie, but they changed the red hots. Oh, I remember when they did that. Jalapeno cornbread. Ooh, so McNasty made jalapeno cornbread one time. And I promptly decided to make it after that. It was so freaking good, but I lost the recipe and I went to McNasty's Discord and I tried to find it and it wasn't the same one. Corn, mac and cheese. Hold on, let me scroll out. Corn, we got the corn. We got the mac and cheese. Potato salad. Oh, I love potato salad too. Definitely a lot of food. Star Fox posted a pic of KD. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. See? KD. Craft dinner. Does it even say mac and cheese? Like, it doesn't even say mac and cheese. This is how our mac and cheese comes in Canada. I don't know. I saw the wings under the fish. Oh my god. You can see the top layer of melted cheese on the mac and cheese. You can. That nice, delicious layer. 
Oh yeah, it wouldn't be the same. Son of a. Okay, hold on. Let me scroll back. So yeah, look at, look right there. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm gonna say it. Cancel me all you want, but I do not like breadcrumbs on top of my mac and cheese. Ugh. I don't like it. Like I don't hate it. It's not like I would choose not to eat it because there's breadcrumbs on it. I would just be like, why? Just why? Please, Americans, maybe this is an American thing, but tell me why. Why are we putting basically fucking sand, dried, nasty... It's supposed to be, like, mac and cheese, you know, in a pot. Y'all putting freaking bullshit on top. I don't like it. I like my mac and cheese cheesy, not crusty. Thank you, Lisa. Cancels gingerbread beauty. Fuck! I don't like it either. It's a staple for baked mac and cheese. Bake it with the cheese on top. You don't need crusty, dusty, musty, old, gr gross ass breadcrumbs on top. I don't make the crust out of the cheese then. You know, bake that crust real good, like, you know? And b bake, it, bake the cheese so that it's a little bit on like the crunchy edges of cheese on like a lasagna, something like that. Now, bacon on top, that's a different story. I'm with Kojak on this one. Hi, Star Pilot. I use cheese and crushed potato chips. Okay. Who's this ghoul? Busty. Exactly, Paolo. Ma bacon, mac, and cheese. Cheesy is best. I mean, hi, Stacy. Hi, Smith. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a... Ain't nothing but a mistake. Uh, crusty ass mac and cheese. Sounds weird, but it makes an amazing crust only thing macaroni should be used for is kindergarten pictures not eating oh so we have dark carl who doesn't like macaroni at all i'm gonna make you a macaroni necklace you leave breadcrumbs alone you leave them alone <laughs> uh guys here goes our battle i don't know how we're gonna do i wasn't paying any freaking attention to it ain't nothing but a cheese thing tell me what <laughs> you get me Band art, Carl. How was your Thanksgiving day yesterday? I just streamed. My kids fought over dinner. It was nothing. We, we, we did not celebrate Thanksgiving. What's do? Hey, Zach. Welcome in. Shut up, Rob. The that's one way to make your mac and cheese crumbly. I don't want a crumbly mac and cheese. I want a nice, soft. What's the word? Like creamy, cheese pulling, mac and cheese. When you put the breadcrumbs on it, you're drying it out. Crummy. Yeah, we don't want crummy or crumbly. <laughs> Fuck a crummy. All right, GG's, guys. We win. All right. Heading back out here. Let's see. We could probably beat this one in 15 minutes if we pay any attention to it whatsoever, which we likely won't. Let's be serious. Creamy mac and cheese. I used to make a mac and cheese like my mom. Hang on, let me get some units out here. Let's let's battle on the bottom here, like this this left side. We'll do this. If you guys need more space, you know what to do. I used to make a mac and cheese like my mom. Layer with cheese and pour milk in just below the top layer. I've doctored it by making a cheese sauce and mixing it into into the mac and then layer it with some more cheese. Would See, that sounds good. Space? Shut up. I want a wet ass piece of mac and cheese. Creamy mac and cheese, soft and supple. Crummy also means bad. I get it, Chris! <laughs> Return of the mac. Some wet ass pasta. Exactly, like the song says. That's what the song meant, right? She wanted wet ass pasta. She wanted some wop. Trick is to make it so insanely cheesy that the breadcrumbs absorb the liquid with plenty left over. So now you've got like a somewhat crummy, somewhat crunchy, somewhat soggy bleh, on top. But you also want stretchy pulley cheese on top of your mac and cheese. A good mac has at least three types of cheese minimum. Are we going to play marbles? Probably not. You know what? You know what? To appease the masses, I will put marbles on because we are doing marbles. Why is it over there? Why is it right here? Oh my God, it went over there. But you bake it for a few minutes, right? You would bake it without the breadcrumbs. The masses. Just blowtorch it. 
with the cheese on top like you make it stove top put it put on the breadcrumbs and throw it in the oven why 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 you can bake it with cheese and bacon on top why breadcrumbs where did mac and cheese meet i don't know bob where did they meet e thank you okay we can definitely run some of these in the background so let's just go to oh let's do community maps okay we got jojo sego um we could do let's do jojo's map and then whoever wins gets to pick the next one to know asked you I thought you were about to tell me a joke exclamation play guys we're not gonna be like focusing on this we're gonna be focusing more on the discord today so this look, looks so freaking good you could do a couple of battle Ooh, i could i made mac and cheese once used five different cheeses bacon sausage i momentarily died with the first mouthful oh hold on we can't listen to that without 100 subs both have the kids list their favorite and non-favorite foods separately and compare the list. The mullet likes hot dogs, pasta, grilled cheese, pizza from a certain place. Welcome everyone to the Morticia Adams stream. Do not adjust your screen. We are live in black and white, just like your boomer parents used to watch. Remember to tip your bartenders and waitress and feed the mods. Cuz I don't. <laughs> uh have the kids list. so yeah, there's like five things that my oldest will eat and out of those five things, my youngest does not like grilled cheese. My youngest does not like pizza cuz she doesn't like pepperoni. My youngest would only eat out of that list. She doesn't even like hot dogs. The pasta. That's it. That's the only thing that they both like. Oh shit, Lumi. Homemade basil flatbread pizza with homemade sauce, Osaka cheese instead of, am I saying that right? Oaxaca? Instead of Mott's, freshly grated Parmesan, pepperoni, black olives, yum, 500 degrees, bake it fast. Good thing I pulled it out on time. Black olives under the pepperoni so those little fuckers wouldn't roll off. This looks so good. Al, thank you so much for that, uh, Tangia. I appreciate that. Rob is the bartender. What's before Boomer? That's my parents. Hello? Yeah, gingerbread beauty. Definitely not gingerbread beauty. You sucked all the color out of the room. I did. She doesn't like grilled cheese. What are you teaching her? Oaxaca? Oaxaca? Oaxaca. Am I saying that? Mm. I'm sorry. How do you not like grilled cheese? She hates it. So you know how you like make a chicken soup and a grilled cheese little thing of ketchup for the kids? One kid loves that whole meal, my oldest. My other kid can't stand any portion of that. So like, I can't win. I can't win. I'm tired. I can't win. This is exhausting. It is so exhausting, honestly. Get half and half. Get one, get a half and a half pizza. Okay, drop in, guys. Star Fox 641 just redeemed. Drop. Drop in, guys. Hello? I freaking love pizza so much. Yo, same. Toil, congratulations. So that's what we have to do because our old, our, our youngest will pick the pepperoni off, but she's just definitely not like a, yeah. Doesn't like pizza because she doesn't like pepperoni. Pizzas have other things on them. Neither of them like anything else. So my youngest just wants sauce and cheese. My oldest wants sauce, cheese, pepperoni. Was lost generation before Boomer. I would house that pizza so hard. Tomato soup plus grilled cheese, one of the best meals ever. Okay, but put cheddar goldfish crackers in your tomato soup. Yum. Drop in, guys. The weird thing is I used to hate the caramelized yams with the marshmallows, but now it's one of my favorites. I feel like I've had that one time. That's definitely a pretty American thing. Would you rather have a lover like Gomez or own a house like the Adams Family one? The house is pretty freaking cool. I'm going with the house. Campy Dave, thank you for the bit. Let's get you on the board. And Al, thank you so much for that uh, that Tangia. I gotta get you on the board, Al. 
for the two subs and a tangia drop in guys exclamation drop Oh, just about fucking knocked over the moon. It's fine. Chefs like McNasty, a date night in. Claire and Negan, for example, make, mix a few different recipes together to make what they make. So it's probably why you got the wrong link for McNasty. That's what I'm thinking, Flowerson. Can you check your merch picks? I can. Also, did you catch my 10 hotness? Rex is so hot. This is Shit. Sparta! Coil and Rusty, guys, can't be Dave. Al, thank you guys for the bits. Rusty, thank you for the jump scare. Uh, Toil. Thank you so much. Can't be Dave, I got you on the board. Thank you guys so much. Um, yes, drop in. My oldest prefers cheese pizza. Middle likes pepperoni. Youngest likes anything. Can't relate. Can't relate. Candied sweet potatoes. Mmm. I got a 10, Stefian. How are you doing, by the way? What are we talking about? Oh, Uncle V. We're talking about food. And we just looked at your sandwich in my food porn in Discord. So you need to tell us. You need to talk to us about that sandwich, by the way. Uh, looks like Smith is going to win. Smith has. I said hi to you. No, I did not. I did not see you. Welcome in. Rusty, thank you again for the bits. Medieval, uh, you can make fun of Morticia and Gomez, but at least they're passionate. Uh, that was one for me. That one was me. Rexus set me up for that one. Gosh. That's enough toffee for now, or I'll have an aching jaw. I could be better, but not terrible. I hope you're well. I'm pretty darn good. Finally arrived. Excellent. Okay, hold on a minute. So, before we move on, I want to scroll back up to... Uncle V, I don't know if I'll ever make it to Cuba proper, but I did get a Cuban, Cuban sandwich in Miami. They do it right here. It was tasty. I really appreciate traveling with open-minded group that's so down to try new things and experience different cultures. I love that. That is a cool story. This looks delicious. Now, these are like crunchy, like... They look like hickory sticks. I don't. I know America doesn't have hickory sticks, but that's what they look like. Potato crisps, like potato sticks or whatever they are. This looks so good. You're making me hungry. I'm starving looking at this. Without my beard, I am Uncle Fester, even without the dark circles under my eyes. Where did you get toffee? He made some. All right, so we're going to go over to Merch Picks and check it out. Hey, check it out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I mean, except for the pillow. But I love it. Those fries look uncooked. They're not fries. They're like potato crisp they're, they're really skinny little slivers of crunchy potatoes they were like miniature french fries i think so in canada we have these things called hickory sticks Let me go look them up for you guys that's exactly what they are but they have a hickory flavor so yeah hold on a minute so these 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 are hickory sticks i'm gonna bag like this they're so delicious this is probably the best Oh, these are Canadians. There, there we go. So they kind of look like that, but a little more like cylindrical slash square. They call them shoestring potatoes here. Okay. Where's my Discord? Hello? Samsung. Samsung. Wait, you make Samsung stuff? You know damn well I would not do that. I had a bag of hickory sticks this weekend. Yum. I don't know for sure what they are, but that's what they reminded me of. Julienne fries or shoestring. But they're like teensy, teensy, tiny. Like the Andy Cap fries? Picnics. Oh, I forgot about the Andy Cap ones. I don't know what those are, but I know America has these like tubs of these things with like a plastic lid. And there's just a whole whack of these. I don't know what to call them. Called chip sticks in Ireland. There are better brands of potato sticks. Hickory sticks change. They kind of suck now. I used to be obsessed with hickory sticks. I haven't had some... Well, I had some a couple months ago, but I try to steer clear of that kind of stuff. We got Lisa wearing my merch. This is such a fun shirt. I'm so excited that they, they allowed me to make this. And then we've got... I can't be Dave. This is so funny to me. 
You know what's even funnier? When chef, chef, when stuff shows up at my house with my face on it, or at my post office, I mean. So I got to go to the post office with the little thing and hand it in, and they hand me something with my damn face on it. Potato sticks. Potato sticks. Hickory sticks are the bestest. They're so good. That shirt actually looks really good. This one with the all over color. I'm so jazzed about this one. And if they do it really well, I'll also have an over over easy egg. Mm. But the sandwich is made with ham, mojo, roasted pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, mustard, and sometimes salami on the Cuban bread. That sounds so good. Wafer thin. When I go something, when I go somewhere that's known for something, I like to try that something. Cuba has a complicated relationship with the US, so I might never make it there. But Miami has a large Cuban population, so it seemed like the smart move to get one there. It looks so good. Look, ah, I'm so obsessed. You guys know I'm obsessed with this little avatar guy. What the? You gotta make toffee on stream sometime for real, Dark Carl. Mm, eggs. I'm an egg lover. I love eggs and every... Well, I don't like... I don't really care for like sunny side up because it's got that like gross snotty shit that's not cooked enough unless you're really good at it. You should need a ticket. Your ID... You shouldn't need a ticket. Your ID is on the package. Like literally my face is on these packages, guys. I also don't, I live in such a small town and like the ladies at the post office know me. <laughs> so I, I never actually need ID to pick up anything. There were four survivors. Hey, we got some survivors. From the carton of eggs, Lendroid, fuck that sucks. Dippy yolk, I love dippy yolk. Over easy, over medium, over hard. I like fully fucking fried eggs that are completely cooked all the way through. I like those too. Yes, same. No snotty shit, please. I never noticed how detailed your hair is in those stickers. My hair is detailed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does that sticker? Why does that last sticker not have a G on the hat? There's no G's on the hats on the avatar ones. Oh, my God. I'm just going to scroll past that. These are what they look like. I just kept them very plain. I wanted them very basic. Hey, Oxy, how's it going? We're talking food. What are you having for lunch? We were we were just in the food porn section and we're looking at everybody's delicious food. This is mostly food by now. What are these tomato plants and are these carrots? What's going on over here? I think I put one cute one and one funny one in taco. Sarah did a great job on that avatar. I went to her and I said, because I've seen some of her work, pardon me, on Facebook. And I was like, okay. Girl, I need you to make me something. I need no face. I need bucket hat, choker, black tank top, galaxy themed. That's all I said to her. And she came up with that. I made absolutely zero adjustments. I said, perfect. Thank you. I'm not a big egg guy. I like like straight eggs, but I like them on things like egg sandwiches, hard boiled in my salad. Ooh, yeah. I like over easy on top of sandwiches and whatnot on burgers. Eggs are really good on burgers. Cunning, hello. Good thing you're not 100 years old, black and white. Does your beautiful hair color no justice? I actually am wearing a wig today. I'm going to pop over to here and take the filter off for just a second. So I'm wearing a black wig today, actually. I'm having Ooh. leftover Chinese for lunch. Yum. We were talking about leftover like turkey dinner. So good. The sticker actually stuck to a Yeti cooler. Interesting. Usually requires a special adhesive for that or heat treatment. Where's the Yeti cooler sticker? Any what? What? Is that weed? Is that the weeds? Is that the giggle leaf? Squash, tomatoes, three different types of peppers. Let me go back. Squash. Tomatoes, these are tomatoes back here. Three different kinds of peppers. Basil. You can, listen, I don't have a green thumb. I don't have a green thumb. I killed a basil plant. Marigold's on there too, over back here. Where's your witch's hat? That would make this black, that would make this black and white. I'm Morticia Adams today. 
Uh, Kojak, I'm gonna put you on the wall now. Thanks for spending some time on BOD. Giga Ugly Port. Al, thank you. I'm gonna write more Tisha in the title now because I was keeping it a secret till my tweet came out. Posted a pic of my lunch. Excellent. Okay, we have Medieval Fire. We've got. I didn't hear your war cry. Is this. Are we ready? Are we ready? Can we do this? Ferocious. I'm not wearing socks, no. I don't eat a lot of ground beef, so not many burgers, but I was fucking stoned out of my mind the other night and I saw a burger topped with an egg uh, on DoorDash, so I did order that. It was solid. Really, really good, right? I'm assuming that means we can battle. I guess we'll see. The other day I woke up late, so I made a scrambled egg and bacon sandwich with buttered toast for the slices of bread. That sounds fucking amazing. Honestly, that kind of stuff, yum. Please repost the following post. I cannot see that, Flowerson. Bob, well, thank you for the bits. Star Fox, thank you for the bits. Guys, we're on a hype train. Your thumb is gray. Sure is. I'll thank you for the gifted sub to Giggle Leaf 420. That's hilarious. Uh, timer finished, but I'm not sure about this one. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. I'm trying to find the pick of the squash in whole. They came out giant. Yeah, show me. I love butternut squash. No, no, thank you. I felt loved. Well, thank you for doing that. This one, Miss G. My ex used to make fried up turkey and stuffing with eggs the day after. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me catch up. We got Star Fox. Thank you for the bit. Sorry, Star Pilot. What do you want? Bob, Star Fox, Star Pilot, Star everything. Oh, we won because we're good. That's why. Guys, can we make it to level two hype? Bob with 500 bids. Bob, let's get you on the board. Thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you, Bob. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, GG's, guys, on the win. We're going to start another one up in just a second. Hello, Star Fox. Thank you for the bits. Ronan. The dippy yolk all mixed together with the burger. So good. Mm. Star Pilot, thank you so much for the bits. Mwah. Star Fox, mwah. Bob, mwah. Merch picks, fourth image from the bottom. The Yeti. All right, give me a second. If you guys would like to play Stream Raiders with me, I'd love to be your captain. Exclamation SR. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving dinner? I didn't do anything at all for Thanksgiving this year. Um, I think we're probably going to do something this weekend, though. My uncle is flying in from Calgary, so I imagine my mom's going to make some sort of dinner. And fingers crossed that it's turkey dinner because I love turkey dinner. I have a giant spaghetti squash and I have no idea to do with it. Apparently, you cut it in half this way. Bake the two ends. And then scrape it up with a fork. There are two reasons I like Delvera, but I can't seem to remember them. Oh, we need to get to level two, he says. Can't be Dave. Thank you. First sticker of the day. First sticker of the day. Can't be Dave. Would you like a chainsaw? Would you like Michael Myers? Oh, shit. Would you like Freddy? Would you like Child's Play? Or the Elm Street sign. Which would you like? Thank you so much. We are level two hype, guys. Choo, Don't forget, Tangia exists. If you want to do TTS, you can do TTS in my voice. You can do TTS in Bob's voice. And also a 50s commercial announcer guy. Chainsaw. What? Um, Thank you so much, Campy Dave. Got the little chainsaw for you. Thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Yay! Silver J! Holy One crap! Year. Seriously! So support. I love you. Mwah! Are you today's date? Cause you're 10 out of 10. Here's to a full year and holy heck, many more to come. One much year. Love to ya. Nice. And I know you don't know what color this is, but it is black because we're doing black things today, so. 
There you go. A nice black heart for your one year anniversary in the G spot, which is freaking amazing, guys. We're almost to level two. Can we make it to level three hype? Black heart, hello. Uh, also, let's get this race started. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. One year silver. Thank you so much. I appreciate the continued support. My favorite colors, same. Hello? Here you go. Second in the G spot today, second of the week. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, well, that's doing that. We're going to come back over here. Um, So we're going to go to Discord. Merch pick. Four. So this is a Yeti cooler. Okay, I, I see it now. So stuff doesn't normally stick to a Yeti is what you're saying, I guess. The real black heart is here. Oh, I get you. I get you. Now I want to play COD. Thank you. Guys, 66 choo, through choo. level two. I... Hello? Choo, choo. Hello? <laughs> Lizard Eye, welcome in. How's it going? General chat. What else do we have to look at here today, guys? Uh, oh, wait, there's more in food porn? Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay, okay, okay. So what do we have here? Medieval fire. Is this a carrot cake? Oh, my God. The last strike races I went to, my mom had her friend make a carrot cake, and it was fucking to die for. I lost my match with my dad, so I guess there's always next year. You know, did someone say cod? This looks so good. Is this carrot cake? Who posted this? Medieval. Is this carrot cake? Are we gone for good? Are we supposed... What do you mean, gone for good? Am I gone? Have I left? Yeah, that looks so good. This is a taco? Question mark? Yep, carrot cake. Salivating. So good, right? Oh, exactly. Chris Prime also posted crafted here. What do we have here? Homemade chicken... Chila... Chilaquiles? Chilaquiles with queso fresca, over easy egg, and cream crema. So what's this then? Is stream done? Stop it. Stop it. Guys, 50 Choo -choo! seconds to save the train. Can we do it? Mexican cheese. So when I went to Mexico, they gave us some cheeses. Ah, fuck, so shut up, Lisa. Did you do it today? I better be here, I swear to God. She's just really good. Damn it, Lisa. Alan! 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 Alan, 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 Alan Steve! Alan, Steve! Steve! Alan. Shut up, Dave. This looks so good. I'm, I, I'm butchering. I'm butchering the name of this. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely sure. 20 seconds to save the train. Can we do it? Yeah! Gingerbread beauty! Definitely not gingerbread beauty. <laughs> Um, things I've done with it so far. Turkey, Caprice. Thank you guys so much for the train. My last one was like a Greek plate. So like an a gyro, gyro. So like, is that lamb? And like tzatziki and like feta type thing. Chilukiles. Chilukiles. I'm terrible at this. My last one was like a Greek plate. It says broadcast has ended, Dave. Lying liar, it, it's not gone exactly. Lamb beef mix. The stream always makes me so hungry. Stag, I have not stopped salivating. Then I added hot sauce. Ooh, ooh, now I want a gyro. We have um, we have a Greek place here. These things are pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. All right, we have things I've done with it so far: turkey capri sandwich, squash soup, pickles in progress, squash chili. I made everything except the bread, turkey, and beans. You should try making bread. Is this like a panini? Mm, listen, I love soup. I love soup. And then I added hot sauce. Now I want a gyro. I need more tzatziki. Like one quart more would be perfect. What? So you can... Oh, I thought you were a Lendroid for a second. So you can drop it on the floor with like your eggs. Because Lendroid decided today was the day that he was going to drop 12 eggs on the floor. Tzatziki. Oh, I love Greek food. It's pretty good, right? Mm, one of the best sauces ever. Arnor. 
Okay, this looks good. Yum. Pickles in a peanut butter jar. Peanuts in a peanut jar. Pickles in a peanut jar. On my list of things to learn. I bet you could do it. Then can you imagine having like an entire sandwich that's just stuff that you've grown and created yourself? Too colorful. Oh my God. Dave, I never play when I say I'm really asking. Oh no. Yes, I'll take the... I'll take it as that. Now I'm going to be making dinner and dessert for his win tonight. Eat nut? Yeah, giant mason jar. Jin's just adding words to my messages. Oh, this is what I do. Pickles in peanut jar. Dot, 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 question mark, Kappa. <laughs> Hi, DJ. How's it going? Welcome in. We are, um, we're spending some time in the food porn part of the Discord today. So if you got any good noms you've eaten lately, pop it in there. What's on the menu? I'm going to make chicken bacon ranch casserole tonight for dinner with an apple Dutch baby for dessert. So it's been a good day uh, today, minus the loss. Get good, Silver G. Also, should you be having gluten? I got a drop. Nice. Ooh, speaking of. This is a very long map, but Sturum, congratulations. You're entered into the giveaway. Chicken wrap, I would love now. I need to take more pictures of my food. I haven't had the motivation to do so lately. Well, Oxy, if you take pictures of your food, pop them in my Discord. Even if you just delete them right after and you can come use my Discord as like a freaking Google Drive or whatever. All right, Sturm, are you still here? Sorry, I can't stay early day at work. So, so sorry, but enjoy the time. I had to chat for a while, so I have a great day. TwitchCon meet and greet reservations have gone live, guys. If you want to meet me, you're going to have to pay. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. They don't have to pay for that either, do they? Like, you don't have to, like, those meet and greets from TwitchCon. They're not, like, you don't have to buy, right? I'm going to start restricting myself once I get my test results back. What? No, they just... No, they don't. They just have to queue up for, like, an hour or two. Boo! Hell no. Are you one of the meet? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of the meet and greets. Absolutely not. Uh, so I'm living my life until then. Hey, Silver G, go for it. I want to order food, but my small screen ability is gone. Okay, turns out I just had to refresh. I was like, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Um, don't join because I'm I'm backing out of this actually. So I have to come back. All right, all right, all right. Um, community maps will go random. That's a 15 minute. Why are they giving me such long races? Damn. My bad. Telly thingies. That makes sense. Yo, like no, 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 no. I need like listen. There might be a day where. I just, I just don't think I, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could do that. Maybe like, I don't know. I'd be so nervous guys. I would be so nervous. Like if I set up a meet and greet for myself for like, like actual twit, like through Twitch, I would be so nervous. I'd be sick. Also Sturm, what's yes. That was the winner's name. Yeah. Do you, I, I'm not popular enough. i definitely don't have like. I don't have the viewership for that and stuff. <laughs> yeah, no. Cute though. Police! But listen, I'll literally just meet anybody at TwitchCon. I mean, I was going to sign up. So we'd have one person sign up to meet me. You know what? That's amazing. The TwitchCon app ain't great. Facts. You have a, you have to apply for those spots. Streamers and Twitch handpicks as streamers oh i got you you have to apply for those spots as streamers and twitch handpicks people from the list oh mr treehorn hello apply now ginger will be holding her own meet and greet outside of twitch con con as long as everyone mobs her at once i will definitely be meeting a lot of you folks at twitch con but i definitely do not have a meet and greet all right we're gonna pop back over to the discord keep checking out food and stuff grilled sesame chicken roasted carrots and cucumbers okay this looks good wait a minute lumi 
Tell me about these carrots. I like how they're cut. This looks. I don't like cucumbers though. I know tzatziki is different though. Okay. The party Friday night is the real meet and greet. Yeah, like I'll be there and I'll bring my t-shirt for everybody to sign, of course. So I assume I'll see you there. You can sign the uh, sign the t-shirt. Sounds like a meet and greet. <laughs> you don't have to wait in line to see me though. Storm, your marble looks so nice. Matchstick carrots? No party for me. Well, Paolo, me and you are definitely going to meet outside of Twitch somewhere. Or inside? Wait, you just, you got your ticket recently, right? Yeah, that's just careful cutting with a grater. No injuries. <laughs> I would use a grater before a mandolin. Mandolins scare the bejeebus out of me. That's such a cool idea. So yeah, last year we had this hoodie here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hoodie that has G-Spot on the front and it says, you found it. And at the bottom it says TwitchCon 2022. And I got everybody that I met to sign it. Like Amaranth's on there. Amaranth signed that shit. And Exo Ariel signed that, and like a couple other like you know cute bots signed it. So we got a couple pretty pretty big names on there, I suppose. So same thing this year. What party Friday night? So they're doing it at the Area 15 this year for the party. You lugging that T-shirt around the party? Yeah, I am. Rob, no, you're carrying it. Greater man, I agree. Paolo, oh my God, mandolins scare me. I use mashed the carrots in my pasta salad. Okay, so if you guys don't get to sign it, you can blame Rob. Hell yeah, I would only use a mandolin if I was wearing a full body chain, right? And I would still hesitate. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with mandolins? They scare the crap out of me. I have one. I don't touch it. I signed it, just saying. Area 15 is cool though. It's gonna be so cool. It looks like so much fun. My name's on it. Just, my name isn't on it. Just saying. Well, get your name on it. Area 15. Nice. Ah, the official Twitch party. Last year was on a Saturday night. So I feel like they're not doing it Saturday night because that's like the When We're Young Festival. So like if someone had to choose between the When We're Young Festival and the TwitchCon party, TwitchCon party would definitely lose. So they wanted to make their money, right? It's a huge effing dispensary. I have those cut proof gloves, but who knows if they work. Too scary to test. Put them on your friend. Test them. Mandolins are the perfect tool for reaching your finger bone. And ah! <laughs> At work, we had chain gloves that you cut yourself. That if you cut yourself, the company that made them would pay you $10,000. So there you are like all trying. When we were young festival last year was wild. So this looks delicious. I like I like those how the carrots are done. Cuban sandwiches are the best, and yes, Florida does it right. Here we go. Here's what America has. Picnic original. Potato sticks. Yep, they're all trying to cut wearing them. <laughs> Do not advise. Barbecue Chinese pork and soy sauce chicken on steamed rice. This looks really good. Never seen those around here. I'm sorry, but I might have to lurk at the rest of the stream. The topic is making me want to stuff my face. We're not talking those old timey string instruments, are we? No, we're not talking like a mandolin. Ooh, hungry now. I worked at a printing at printing companies that had paper cutters that also sliced arms. Do you guys remember the ones in the school? Who did that? Who did that one? The ones that are like for cutting massive construction paper. It's like a fucking guillotine in the schools. Hey, that's my lunch. It is the big old guillotines. Yeah, I was like, you rang. That is a very lurch voice. Lurch to that one. That was, that was amazing. Ooh, can't be Dave. I owe you a gold star for your chainsaw. There we go. So she said, Rob, need, a, need to be longer on that, Rob. Who did that anyway? What did I join in on? Food! We're talking food. I ate all that, by the way. Ginger, you going to Omega Mart? So Omega Mart is part of Area 15, I think. So I'll be checking that out on the Friday night for the Twitch party. It was Bob. Me, Do it again! It was so short. I want to hear it again. You rang. <laughs> Bob, thank you so much for using your voice on my stream. Uh, bread, green, blue. Hello. 
Welcome in, first time chatter. I see you gifted a sub. Uh, Bob, I believe you get to pick a sticker now. Would you like Michael Myers? Would you like the Elm Street sign? Child's Play? Freddy? Or Michael Myers? Ooh, if Omega Mart is open for that, even better. I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't actually Boo! know. If not, that's definitely something that I would like to see. That's also what she said, Bob. It was so fast. Freddy, all right. Let's get Bob on the board with a gold star. Guys, if you're wondering what that sound was, it was my new TTS. You can use Bob's voice or you can use my voice if you'd like to use it. It's down below in the panels. It's called Tangia. Creepy. Oh, wait, I owe you a gold star as well. Ah! Whoa. Settle down. Um, pretty sure most of Area 15 will be open for the Twitch party. Child's Play is Chucky, right? Yes. Uh, game one of regular season is tomorrow. I was trying to be Lurch. It sounded Lurch-esque. Lurch-esque. You rang. Real Bob or just saying Bob pressed the button on some effect. So that is actually factually bob's voice so what he had to do was record about five or so minutes of a script and then he put it into tangia and it created an ai of his voice can we to see the strong team out on the ice holy cayenne pepper summer squash and cucumber look at that amazing bob you lucky dog you we all we also need a Brit british voice <laughs> rob <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yummy chicken on the barbecue from Silver G. Oh, what's on the beans? What's on the beans? I literally the other night had like basically half a basket of green beans. Mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> mommy, sorry, merch when? <laughs> <laughs> or no, or a nice eggplant. I might have been meaning to do it, but need to get the time when it's quiet. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Thanks, Bob. I was trying to say, I ate like half a basket of green beans with just freaking garlic and butter the other night. That was my dinner. Just beans. Which is probably why it's so gassy in here. Uh, saving the full games when it comes to the playoffs, eh? Hello? Bye, Tor Photo. Happy almost anniversary. Thank you so much, Bye, Tor. How you doing? Happy almost anniversary, Gingery One. Looking very dark and disturbed, Miss Morticia. Thank you. Grilled chicken, green bean casserole, and coleslaw. Then grilled cheese salad and butternut squash soup. There's something so delicious about butternut squash. It's so, like... I know, I know you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck, Ginge? It's velvety, but I don't mind it. It's delicious. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice little lunch. There's a French fried onion. There's French fried onions on the beans. That sounds delicious. No, they start at midnight and I work at 6 a.m. Recording for you. Oh, I got you. Happy almost anniversary. Thank you, bye tour. Happy 11 months. The musical fruit. What do we have here? Oh. One time in Poland. How the heck do you even eat that? Like sideways, like a sub sandwich? That's my lunch. Bye, Oxy. This looks so good. I remember one time I stopped at a diner on the way down to Florida. I forget what it was called, but there was like a pound of bacon on the BLT. Velvety, just not moist velvety. Squish from the top. You'd oh. really have to get in there and just like, Full body weight. Look at that chonk ass freaking French fries too. Look at those. Yum. Gotta squish it down. It's a BBBBBBBBLT. Absolutely. Duh, with your mouth. Oh my God. I'd literally have to take that apart in two. Potato wedges. Those are huge. If you're going to do a bit, BLT, right? This is why bigger burgers should be wider not taller like the size of a dinner plate fork and knife top meal right there 
I need this velvety experience. Butternut squash, so good. Mashed up, a little bit of brown sugar or maple syrup in it, some butter, creamy delicious. I was hungry, fortunately. This looks so good. A beaver tail! Hell yeah! Freaking love beaver tail. Thank you, Schizo. So they have these strawberry cheesecake ones that have like a cream cheese layer and like strawberry like preserve, some sort of strawberry jam on top to die for. So this is similar to like an elephant ear funnel cake. Like it's like flat funnel cake. So good. Next time I get a burger, I'll have to pick it and pick after a few bites. Take a picture of it and a picture after a few bites. Hello, oh dang, that's what you had for dinner or lunch? The burger. That's not mine, Kevin. Yes, I would devour a burger. That was as wide as my plate. Yo, same. The strawberry cheesecake beaver tails are legit. This is looks like the Nutella and banana one. Also amazing. Beaver tails, the brand actually also does a patin beaver tail. Bacon, 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 bacon. Ow, thank you so so much for another gifted sub i appreciate that hopefully bacon 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 comes in here we had a friend try a plate-sized burger not easy it's in a poutine on a beaver tail let's just go to the beaver tail website guys it's a canadian thing food company all right let's check it out let's check it out beaver tails home refreshing lemonade Order online. You can order beaver tails products. How did you manage to go southern then? Who knows? Okay, the classic. You've got a little cinnamon. Hold on a moment. I'll snuck into my kick chat. What do we have here? Thank you so much for the five gifted. Oh, and you also subscribed for six months, 21 hours ago. That's amazing. We've got Chastity Culp, Corey Knight, Rock, Sleepy Cash, and Terry J. Thank you so much for the gifted subs over on Kick. I super, super, super appreciate that. Let me get you on the board in the Kick green marker. I can order online. Looks like Stream Raiders has started up a new battle pass. Al, thank you so much. I appreciate those. If the burger is so tall, it exceeds the height of clearance of your mouth. That's not a fun dining experience. I agree. Al, you can't even see your name on here. Oh, a little bit if I do this. There you go. Al, thank you. Appreciate you. All right. They already have TwitchCon badges. Uh, don't take my Canadian badge, but I've never had one of them from Beaver Tales. My cousin has doesn't you don't have to have it from beaver tails as long as you've had one all right hold on a minute i just closed that um this one does not interest me i'm not a big fan of like a lemon i guess hazel and more banana rama hazelnut spread and uh we also tried this one cocoa vanilla avalanche sounds good scorbit apple pie are you kidding this one right here. Holy shit, that one's busting on God. We've also had the maple one. They have beaver tails go to the drag races in like a truck. So you get to try them all the drag races. So cool. Oh my God. My wig is forgetting how to wig and shedding all over me. All right, let's start a marbles race too, by the way. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. See there, if you don't type in kick chat first, you can be sneaky. True true i did not see you get in there i've never had one period so good and i had no idea it was resub time Ooh, apple pie oh my god reese's pieces what i love watching beavers drag race what are beaver tails so like a little i would say it's similar to like a donut but it's flat it's a deep fried piece of dough that has toppings on it so delicious get your balls in guys we're gonna do a race I hate to change this. Odin Romy, hello. Welcome in first time chatter. The sand dude. Hey, looks like you got gifted a sub. Welcome in first time chatters. Oh, shedding. I heard shedding. Shedding. Like, look at this. So much hair comes out of this damn wig. I mean, nothing left of it by the end of the Halloween season. 
This is the one I use for Wednesday Adams as well. Uh, Yo Soy Caustic. Hello. Welcome in first time chatters. Welcome in new chatters. Hi. I'm Ginger. I stream Monday through Thursday, 12.33 p.m. Eastern. Hello. Taste test time. Okay, I'm going to pull out what I've got the taste test for you guys. It's a weird new Coca-Cola. I don't know if it's new. It could not be new. Do they taste like donuts? Yeah, pretty much. I would say they basically taste like donuts. They taste like funnel cake i don't know have you had funnel cake but they're just like flat discs like an elephant ear is that something that's more popular in america i shit you not like fry bread i don't i doubt they would know what fry bread is either welcome in you three. Oh, don't do it you died rob just thought you should know we're trying this y3000 so year 3000 limited edition zero sugar coca-cola i'm gonna turn the color back on because the color of this bottle is super cute i've always wanted to try doing that show pastry but with it needing to be made in a pan it might be a mess to do like it clears um yeah if you have a deep cast iron that might be the best or if you have a deep fryer i don't know elephant ears or fry bread so look at flat donut is that Coke that fry of Futurama drinks? Is that the Coke that fry of Futurama drinks? I don't, I've never seen Futurama. I swear my hearing is going in my old age. Yesterday you said badge. I thought you said something else. Oh my God. I know exactly. Mr. Treehorn, congrats. You're in the giveaway. Even though I might be streaming on Friday, you guys, I'm doing my giveaway on Thursday still. Futurama takes place in the year 3000 plus. Let me pop color back on so you guys can see the color of this. I thought you already tried that Coke a while ago. No, this is a different one. The, the one you're thinking of is like the cosmic one. This is year 3000. And then we also tried the plus XP one. Fut futuristic flavored. So we're about to taste the future, guys. We're about to taste the future. Let's get a, a random track going here for you guys. You talking about slurm? Rip? Zero sugar, zero suck. Does it taste like you're living under water? Maybe I should breathe in the coat. Don't say that. Taste the future. That's like a weird way of start stating a sexual act all right here we go guys i've never seen it before oh, tish you spoke french american canada never got busted they don't know the songs it smells a little i know i'm gonna say something stupid it smells a little sweet sweeter than coke Hi, Ginge. How are you? I'll be your Gomez. No way. Ooh, I don't like it. I'm going to have to try it 19 more times to make sure, though. Oh, God. Blue Blanc High. <laughs> this is horrible. I can't even tell you what this is supposed to taste like. The sand dude. Darn it. I want to be Gomez. Just chug it and get it over with. My point still stands. She doesn't know who they are. Ooh, you can tell us liquid ass in a bottle. It's got such a, okay. So hear me out, pause, stop. It could be because it's zero sugar. It's got such a strong aspartame, terrible, terrible flavor. Liquid ass in a bottle. Which flavor is that? I love when you kombucha girl it <laughs> because that like sometimes. Ooh. The band Busted made a song called Year 3000. I never, you're right, I've never heard of it. So the song was the Year 3000 Busted Jonas Brothers. With the Jonas Brothers, maybe. Starts with something, then there's something else. Then there's a third something. And then it ends with like the worst flavor I've ever put in my mouth. Probably not, but... Bob, was that you? I swear that said Bob. Oh, God, it's so bad. 
It's so bad, and I have goosebumps from that. It did say Bob. Bob! Another gold star for Bob. Damn. Honestly, I'm giving... It's so bad that I'd love to give it a zero, but I can't, so it gets a one. This is the worst drink so far that we've had. Failed endorsement attempt. <laughs> Thank you. Let me let me open that up. It's so bad. You done did good. It. I. It's so gross. I'm sorry I asked. You can give it whatever rating you want. Hell, go into the negative numbers. That's this is true. This is true. Oh my God! What is this? Pawn it off to one of the girls so they can drink it. That's disgusting. Disgusting! Uh, just wait until the burp comes out. You'll get to taste it again. No! Hooray for Bob. I've been to the year 3000. It's the same, but... They live underwater, and I met your great-great-granddaughter. She's pretty fine. Maybe, Dark Carl, send me the link. I can't listen to it. I'll have to mute it. Or I'll have to listen to it after stream. But like I know a bit of the Jonas Brothers. Congrats, guys! By the way, on winning. By the way, on winning this. We do that kids evil. Living there is the same, but we live underwater. Let's enter the new event because why not? All right. I so would. Did the fizz go to your nose? Like, it's not even good enough for that. It is so bad. It's gross. We need to look up what. It is. Somebody look up what Coca-Cola Y3000 is supposed to taste like. Because I'm telling you right now. Mm. Oh, I just burped it up. You're right. That's disgusting. There we go. Send it in DMs. Andre 3000? That's where my brain went. But I don't think that's it at all. They need to put cocaine back in cola. Probably not. One of the other kids' nickname is Shithead. What do you expect? One of her kids' name is Shithead, so what do you expect? Are they both from ATL? Are what? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> it's so bad, guys. Okay. I'm going to pause this and go over here. Hi, Ginge. How are you? I'll be your Gomez. No way. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh God. It just kept hitting me worse and worse, guys. It was terrible. Do not recommend. Please do not buy this. Don't waste your money or your time or your taste buds. Thanks for the lurk. Oh, but also Joe Jonas is a fucking coward. Breaks up with Taylor Swift with a text. Divorces Sophie Turner over social media. Gosh. Uh, I haven't bought a Coke in a while. Are you doing the giveaway today then? No, not till Thursday. I love Coke Zero, caffeine free. To me, that's the best flavored one. For sure, P piece of shit. Ooh, okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's go back over to Discord. What do we have here? Ooh, let's get those beaver tails. Uh. Bitter ballen, plural for, for bitter ball. They are a Dutch meat-based snack made by making a very thick stew thickened with a roux and a beef stock and generously loaded with meat, refrigerating the stew until it firms, then rolling the thick mixture into balls, which then gets breaded and fried. I'm pretty sure most deep fried things are decently tasting. That looks all right. Oh, I thought you said you was only yes on yesterday and today this week no no no. i'm actually doing um potentially okay we did the taste test it was horrible um potentially doing a five day stream week this week meryl hello there's our tangia guys also if you are a streamer make sure you click that tangia link and sign up through my link bitter balls there's this new black phantom mystery flavor it's pretty good I was iffy on that one. We tried that one two or three weeks ago and it was um, it was orange flavored and I don't I don't like orange flavored things. So it was OK. It's, so it's blood orange. Basically, that's the flavor is blood orange. 
Meet the balls, pizza, meteor balls, meteor balls. I'm gonna look up what it's supposed to taste like. Coke. X3000 flavor. Oh, it's Y3000. Durr. I ordered pizza and margarita, by the way, just so you know. Um, what are you supposed to taste like? It smells like circus peanut candies and tastes mostly like Coke. No, no, neither of these things are true. It's saying it's a reference to the far off year 3000. It smells like circus peanut candies, circus peanut candies. And it tastes mostly like, Co it doesn't taste anything like Coke. No one, no one knows. They're all guessing. I like all Cokes. You wouldn't like this one. The Y3000 was inspired by insights gathered from artificial intelligence. It supposedly tastes like Coke from the future. Well, I don't want to go to the future anymore. Co-created with Al, lol, with AI, oh. He said Al. Oh, guys, it's just terrible. Okay, so Starlight Coke was really good, actually, but. Oh, hello? It's a little bit bigger. Sounds like an abomination. Coca Cola Al. So I failed you. I forgot to tell you that I had the mint chocolate cookies like an hour ago. Please forgive me. We'll see, Dave. We'll see. Uh, the new flavor part of the soft drink brand's limited edition creations. It's equally trippy predecessors. Predecessors. Starlight Dream World and Ultimate. These three were good. These three were good. This shit is nasty. Do not recommend. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. I'm closing my freaking kick down, guys. So stay the fuck out. All right, what do we have here? The Therminator built for Arnold back in his training days. But wait, there's more. Shut up, Max. Hold on. Let's look at this one first. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This looks so good. It's fucking massive, but it looks so good. Hi, Tinker. So, okay. Wasn't Star Coke one of the that tasted like s'mores? Yeah, I had like a marshmallow flavor and I was not mad at it at all. What baked things does Mullet like to make? Like cake pop, waffles, cookies, cakes? Um, I don't know. Cookies and cakes and stuff. We have We have waffle makers. We have cake pop makers. We have all those things. It looks nice. I've tried it. I didn't like it. This one here. This tastes like dookie. I fucking hate it. I just tried it and I'll never put it in my mouth again. Awful. Don't blame me for that Coke. AI can't hang. So big it needs two sticks. The green stuff needs to get off that burger. It's lettuce. Damn. One and a half pounds of beef. Extra pound of toppings. Hello, Ginger Adams. Hello, Daddy Q. How are you? The fries look so inviting. That one sticking out is mine, right? Hello! Yeah! Gingerbread beauty! Hey, Definitely not gingerbread beauty! You've tasted Duke. Shut up, Dave! Shut up. Okay. We're popping this in the browser. We gotta see this mofo. Hello? That thing is huge. That's what she said. Look at the size of that. You'd have to like put this on the table, like your family of 12 and slice it like a cake. Toil. Random pickle on top. Oh, I love pickles. Toil. Don't mind lettuce on my burgers. It gives it that nice bit of crunch. Oh, I love lettuce on a burger. Why not? What other than cooking and baking does mullet, is mullet into? She's impossible to get. Is she like, okay. So she does want me to put this on the wish list. She's a little older. She's into makeup and stuff. So I've got to go find this. But the problem is it's like all fucked up. So I'm going to figure out what that is. It's some eyebrow thing. She's more into like makeup and clothes at this point. Looks like a habit eating second breakfast. Drop in, guys. Tier one, two, just redeemed. 
drawer. Yeah, so she also wants paints and stuff, Dark Carl. She's she's really getting back into painting a little more, but she's so busy uh, with hockey and school now that, ah, uh, God, I don't know. Is diet and a diet Coke to be healthy? Right, exactly, Campy Dave. And a, we'll take this burger here that feeds 54 people and a diet Coke to be healthy. Again, green thing needs to go. Oh my gosh. It's nothing without the pickle. Looks like a hobbit eating second breakfast. 11 these. Um, I did about a third of it. Shut up. There's no way. Did you actually? I love lettuce and tomato on my chicken sandwiches, but not my beef burgers. I, it's hit or miss for me with tomatoes. I feel like tomatoes sometimes are good on a burger, but I find they cause things to slip apart sometimes. Had dinner for three more nights. No shit. Well, there is a lot of art stuff coming. Uh, maybe she needs pink hockey bag with pink wheels. Oh my gosh. She would rather die, I'm sure. No, pickle belongs on a burger. Pickle is good on a burger. Sometimes I'm a very plain individual and give me like meat, cheese, and bun. Sometimes I want all the toppings like fried onions and peppers and like pickles and mustard and relish and and mayo and tomato and lettuce did i say lettuce already toil thank you for the bits campy dave thank you for the bits toil thank you for more bits you should be able to take a picture of that piece of makeup and use google image i'm pretty sure it's called tattoo brow ink pen tattoo brow something i'll figure it out oh color yeah okay bye ginger thanks for a moment of wonderfulness back to briefings fuck my life daddy q see you soon and another burger pickle red onion pickled red onion is underrated listen i am a hit or miss with that al because i feel like pickled onions like pickled red onions can be overpowering if if you use too much i don't like mushrooms period mushrooms can go fuck themselves still need a christmas wish list i'm sure she'll work on it you would think god i'm hungry now you wild thing Listen, sometimes I'm fucking boring and just give me some mayo on a bun with a burger and a piece of cheese. And other times I want all the, the fixings. Put the works on the burger. God, I'm hungry now. This stream has been talking about food like the entire time. It just needs to be on the right thing. A little bit on a good taco. Yes. Mushrooms are getting over it. I don't like mushrooms. Guys, are we going to let Toil win? Did I drop in yet? retweet that's right guys it is time to retweet or repost the going live post on x i learned in my bio psych class that aspartame blocks the protein channels that allow serotonin to the brain which explains why so many diet soda drinkers i know are so depressed and not just because they're driving diet so drinking diet soda we had a burger bar where i grew up 70 plus toppings cheeses sauces seasonings that you could choose from see i'd probably go a little bit crazy that's a lot I've been busy with my personal situation. I have one last ditch idea to try before I'm forced to take a, the leap home. Well, you keep me posted on that. It's my time. Welcome to the G spot. You found it. That's why I'm like, that's okay. Drinking, drinking. Re Zeet, pronounced Zeet. Did the crystal painting arrive that Watsy got? Crystal painting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forever ago. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, gosh, that... What? Um. Ooh, Watsi also got us something to do this winter. He got us a gem kit. So inside of these whatevers, you got to, like, excavate the little gems. Should be a fun thing. So, Ginge, cute outfit. Thank you. I really, I enjoy a regular McDonald's hamburger, no cheese, with just ketchup and mustard and pickle. Did they ever finish the crystal painting? Yes. Um, I don't think she'd want another one, though. They do have a ton of them that they just, you know, they've, they've got a lot of those. The lowest score in the past 24 hours is 2.07. <laughs> My fellow. All right, Toil, it's all you then. This freaking burger. Uh, I forgot that I bought a, a jar of jalapeno jelly from Walmart the other day and I had homemade jelly on cream cheese and Ritz cracker. It was amazing. So hopefully this will be good. My mom used to make like the spicy jelly 
and the craziest part is that she'd just have it with like all the other jams and jellies and stuff like in the fridge and one time my cousin was visiting and he made himself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the freaking red pepper jelly and he ate the whole damn thing i just ordered a huge rock gem kit for my middle one for christmas it's prime days here in canada it sure is wait a minute did you just oh it was only 195 okay that's not terrible poor guy yeah but the thing is he was like i knew it tasted weird but i didn't want to say anything <laughs> i have a regular relish and jalapeno relish in my fridge i mixed them up the other day oops oh no so i don't like sweet pickle relish i only like dill pickle relish i think that sweet pickle relish can kick rocks honestly eight pound burger four and a half pounds of it are beef that is so crazy uh taco we got another thing in taco here a swarm of look at these guys are going pokemans crazy pokemans this time it's a swarm of shroomish what's the shroomish shiny i um ooh, hold on now from the top make it drop Mmm, dill pickle relish. Dill relish here too. We are so alike. Dill pickle relish is where it's at, guys. Five million ginger snaps. Oh, wait, who's got five million? Enjoy a Mega Mart in Las Vegas, Ginger. What? See, it looks like it's going to be so cool. If it's not open during the TwitchCon party, I'm definitely going to try to get to a Mega Mart. Wait, I thought Shroomish Spotlight Hour was tonight. This looks like so much fun. Guys, if you're going to TwitchCon, please make sure you're in the Discord and you pop yourself into the TwitchCon Vegas channel. Guys, I need to know if you are going, click this and I'll make sure to somehow plan it out to get to, to come say hi to you guys and get you to sign the t-shirt and stuff. If you don't want to meet me also, that's totally fine. Uh, Cammy Dave has five. Holy crap. If you want to do Omega Mart properly, you need a few hours. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe it is something that I should be planning outside of the TwitchCon party because the TwitchCon party is going to be like busy meeting people and seeing whatever's going on. So, Paolo, do you suggest that I maybe make a plan for it separately? A drop in the bucket to Bob, though. How many boys do you got, Bob? I saw this lady make homemade gummy and crunchy candy. It looks like uncut crystal. Oh, oh, yes. JW. Oh, my God. We're going to look at that right now. First of all, those motherfuckers are expensive. Crystal candy. I so want to try these things. Um, Silky gem crystal candy. Let me do a video. Crystal candy video. Because you guys. This stuff looks so good and I so want some and I'm like dying to try some of this stuff. You can definitely check it out during the party if it's open. It'd be fun to mess with Ginger at TwitchCon. Take selfies of yourself standing near her and share them in Discord without telling her you saw her and just wait till the last day to walk up to her. Okay, so warning, crunch sounds, but like glorious crunch sounds. And I so want to try some because these look so good. Less music. Edible crystals. Let's make some edible crystals. Don't whisper at me! I can't take okay. it! Ah! Let me know when this bitch has stopped chomping. Oh my god, I'm so doing this on stream, so you better take the day off. If I ever get my hands on some crystal candies. I do have some coconut flavors. Coconut pineapple. 
I don't know how I would feel about that candy. Put that on the wish list. I'm not sure if I can find any. I so want to try these crystal candies. First of all, they're gorgeous. They look so cute. At Dragon Con, there was a guy dressed and looked exactly like Walter White from Breaking Bad. He was handing out little plastic baggies of blue colored rock candy. Um, uh, crunch. So good. Yeah, I definitely want to try some. They have some really cool flavors. Like they have like a maple crunch flavor. Um, I tried looking for some. They're like, I'm not even joking. Okay, crystal. They're really expensive. Crystal candy. Oop. I wonder what the texture is like. So apparently they're like crystallized on the outside and like a firm jelly gummy, like not like a gummy bear inside, but like a firm jelly. Yeah, tag her in the selfies you post in Discord so she knows you saw her. Don't walk up to her because I won't know who you are, really. People thought it was rock candy. What if it was actually Brian Cranston wearing a mask of his own face? A bear is better. So Silky Gem is a brand. There was another one that I was going to try. Silky Gem. So I'm pretty sure you get like three pieces for 20 bucks. And this is at Showcase. Like three pieces plus the shipping at Showcase is a million dollars. Like so expensive. Who is clipping what? Canteen Canada, Crystal Candy Science Fun. Crystal candy sounds similar to rock candy. I had that a lot growing up in the South. So I've had rock candy too, and that's hard all the way through. But crystal candy has got like basically the rock candy on the outside with like a gummy metal thing. Showcase is a big ripoff. Absolutely. He gave me a bag while I was dressed as Bob Ross. It was actually rock candy. Yeah, I saw the photos from him at SDCC where he did that. I want to try the freeze dried candy from there, but a bag is like $7. So. Another thing that they have at the drag race is vendors like that. So they had this vendor last time I was there uh, that had freeze dried treats like Skittles and uh, peach rings and freeze dried um, ice cream sandwiches. All of it was so good. It was so good. Kevtech is a 10. Congrats. That's the point to see how long you can go without before she catches you. You walk up with her on the last day. What if I'm nowhere to be found though? Interesting. Also, hi, and I like your Morticia look. Thank you. We're actually, I just put the color on for a minute because I was taste testing this disgusting Coke. Um, so we're actually gonna go back to our our nice, lovely, what, what were we doing here? Black and white tone that we had going on. She should be worried if I walked up to her since I'm disabled. Yeah, if. If Dave Tuggy walked up to me, we'd all be like, Wow. Crystal candies. All right. Handmade in Canada. Luxury candy. Shop all. So, like, look at the price tags on these guys. Luxury gem treasure box. Peony flower with gold treasure box. Like, deluxe luxury. That's not bad. Like, there's six bags of candy for 30 bucks not terrible so that's larry's coke now uh good i thought it was broken for a while there so yeah 30 bucks let me go to checkout and see what it would be for shipping to where i live because i live in the middle of nowhere handmade is expensive as as fuck as fuck um $22 shipping. So a box with six little packages of candy would be $51.99 Canadian. No, no, it's just not happening, guys. It's not happening. Once the trend wears down, maybe it'll be cheaper. Oh, good. I thought it was broken. Freeze dried Skittles are amazing. They are fruity balls with a Whopper texture, right? So good. So $3 US or a gazillion dollars Canadian as usual. Yeah, okay, let's not. All right, marbles, let's go. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. Exclamation play! We're gonna roll another round of marbles uh, and we're waiting for Stream Raiders. I'm not sure how we're doing there. Don't forget, we are playing Stream Raiders exclamation SR. Did you do the retweet? No, hold on. 
Um, also, this is your last chance to retweet. That's not it. That's a storage shelf. Whoa, we're one away from 50 retweets. You guys are amazing. Why would you want candy that chews like a burger? Right there, guys. Last opportunity to do the retweet. It's a free way to be entered into Thursday's giveaway. So do it. Do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Oh, for fuck's sake, the coworker has to leave early, so I'll be needing to head out in a minute. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. 50. Boom. 50. Hello? Zor the Cruel. Welcome to the G spot. You found it. Cousin Derek Leak to the five borrow fans. Quickest way to bath water. <laughs> sippy, sippy. Damn it, Apollo! Oh, wait, we're talking about the malt balls, aren't we? I was talking about chocolate malt balls. Oh, it's so bad. It's like burnt toffee. And then you get like this aspartame times 3000. That's why it's why 3000. It's aspartame 3000. Just trade it for some nice ice water. I'm actually pretty cold, which is hard to believe because I was just bitching about how hot I was last week. Welcome to Northern Ontario weather. It worked. What worked? Didn't just go straight to Ralph Wiggum. It tastes like burning. <laughs> My bad. I thought you were talking about Burger King burgers. It tastes like burning. Name that quote. I'm in danger. Or too much. Just too much. Bit. Listen, Bob. I just noticed you're also Canadian. Small town, Southern Ontario myself. I'm small town, Northern Ontario. Hello. Welcome in. I like the Rose Coke Zero from last year. It was almost like a flowery taste. I'm not sure if I'd like that. I don't even care too much for like rose scented things. Cause roses really smell like poo. -oo -oo. All right, first sub through the finish line was toil. Congrats, you're entered into Thursday's giveaway. I eat the purple berries. We're gonna do the retweet now, guys. Whoa, so last chance. Thank you so much. Let's go over here. Hello! Yeah! Gingerbread beauty! Definitely not gingerbread beauty. Speaking of phone, I have to do my retweet and I have to do my... What the fuck? I have to do... Stop messing with me. Time hop. Okay, I'm going to use a different one. Hey, Ronan. Yeah, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's a pretty average statement coming from me. I know, I know, I know, Ronan. Oh, I don't know. How does seven o'clock sound for you? Um, Yeah, we're going to go to the restaurant that Max uh, was talking about with the seven pound burger. Me and you can split it. No problem, right? Yeah, I agree. We'll be fine. Oh, we'll get a side of tin style fries. You right, you right. We're good. All right, I'll see you at seven. Please just work. Hello? Your phone sounds broken. The snozberries taste... Did it not go? Did I not phone call sound it? Well, that's lame. The whole time was just proof I'm talking to myself when I do that. Busted. Okay, my Twitter picker's not working. Let me try to get the other one working again so the first place is in columbus ohio ronan we're going to columbus ohio Ew. and the second place is in memphis tennessee then we're going to memphis tennessee for dessert please work hey there we go now it's working Boo. hello okay we're gonna pick 15 people ready Nope. God damn it. Secrets out. I don't actually talk to the people on the phone. Sinfer, Bob. I've got no nose. Star pilot, Prince.
Shut the fuck up, Ginger. Dark Carl. Sorcy, Rexus, Chubby Potato. Uh, Darkness Soul, DJ Wadi. Lendroid. Rob. Campy Dave. And Kevtech. Congrats, you guys. Thank you so much for retweeting my going live tweet. How many times did we get? 50 on the button. Thank you. Jinx chooses a battle with a bunch of 20, 40 level enemies. Wait, what? I don't know anything about this. Are you joking me? One minute remaining, guys. Are you ready? Yes, Rob won. Oh my gosh. I put them both in. I put them both in the giveaway so you guys can shut up. They matter today. Couple seconds left on placement, you guys. Couple seconds left. And thank you for the retweets. How do I get rid of that? Holy shit. We won? What do you mean you won? You didn't win yet. You can hover over the enemies and it'll show you their level. What? Just kidding. Ginger, are you part... Are you partner? What's that say? There's like asterisks there. Are you talking about kick? Why would kick be a banned word? Captain TV. Oh yeah, it's so fucking weird that Captain TV is banned. Uh, I am. I, I am a Captain TV partner. Yes. I thought maybe it said kick because you know, like Automod might grab the word kick because it's like abuse or whatever. Who, what? Sweet. Yes, we're partnered with Captain TV. Um, we have been for a minute. Which is awesome. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. I, didn't hear your war cry. I just say green streamy if I'm talking about the K word. I am verified Delicious. over there as well. I'm not part of their partner program or whatever they want to call it. Um, there's been a little bit of like a kerfuffle with Kick, so we're just kind of. I'll be back there eventually. Or because of it's a competing streaming service. Okay, true. Because Captain TV shows a link. Oh, what's he? Duh. Yeah, Captain TV is technically a link. Yeah, it's a wild card over there. Yeah, there's been a few things that maybe I am just steering clear from of for now. But we'll definitely head back over there at some point. Let it mellow out. Yeah, I'm definitely letting the dust settle on like the shit storm that it can be over there. Kerfuffle it. That's a Canadian word, apparently. Did you know that? Ginge isn't partner because she's been banned there. Honestly, the first time I streamed there, I got banned there, but I was being a baddie. Smart. You have a strong presence here as well, so why sabotage it over there like a lot of people are? I'm seeing a lot of people coming back over to Twitch from Kick, and they're like, like feeling reinvigorated over here. And I'm not saying that it's a bad place. I don't shit on either of these streaming services. They both have their positives. They both have their negatives. Like, it's hard to friggin' turn your back on that 95... Hey, fight. That 95-5 split. It's really, really difficult to ignore that. If it's yellow, keep it mellow. Eh, forget it ever happened. That's what they want you to do. Forget it ever happened. Um, Like, it's... So I I keep my tw my my kick notifications up because you know every once in a while somebody who maybe doesn't want to give so much of their hard earned cash to the big guy they go and gift their subs over on kick it still appears on my stream here and it's still money in my pocket right so people like Al Phantom go over there and gift subs Bob gives subs over there JC there's a few of them that go over there and gift subs over there because I get a bigger split and I still have like a song and dance that appears here on stream, which is perfect. So I'm using it as a way to basically get cheaper, like more of a cut from the subs that I get, honestly. And that works, honestly. All right, we're going to shut her down. We're going to shut that down. We're going to get back over here. 
you mean when they essentially kidnapped a prostitute on live stream and then one of the heads of kick was in the chat encouraging it that's the thing that's the one i'm talking about i'm gonna let that sort of are you banned on i'm not i'm not banned on kick again i'm close to affiliate over there just in case that split comes with stuff so basically like i said we have the alerts live if you go follow me on kick exclamation kick go give me a follow over there it'll pop up on screen somebody go follow that isn't yet that's the only thing they've got going for them uh friday the 13th spoopy kick stream i'm considering that hi fight how are ya this explanation is the same one you gave a while ago it's exactly why i decided to try it you never know what's going to happen to any streaming service you know mixer <laughs> At any point in time, the plug could be pulled. It's best to get your name secured on all social medias, I guess. I don't know. Is Kick going to close down tomorrow? Probably not. Is Twitch? Probably not. But if it does, you definitely want to be able to go somewhere else and bring your people somewhere else. What, you got money in your pocket for this? Uh, that's the T. Not sure how long they'll be before blah 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 not sure how long before they'll be able to recover from that that was a bad one you gotta have options it'd be stupid not to it'd be stupid not to try to take advantage of the 95 5 split and if uh, if money was everything to me then i would be over there already because obviously that's what they've got going for them so if we give you a kick dude, that didn't get banned well to me that the streamer hasn't been banned yet you got one for quote unquote botting no, this is too spoopy. You know what else is free? Subscribing on YouTube. Okay, still shit going on. Oh, okay, I got you, Fight Club. El Gingera, basically. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm Morticia Adams. I'm gonna be rebranding, so I need to come up with new avatar images and change the overlays. Yippee! Like you said, it's a good option to donate and Fight support. Club? Who is Fight Club? To the streamer directly, since the split is best. So when people are gifting subs here um you know we're building a community we're building the stream when you're building subs or when you're purchasing subs for gifts here we're hoping that they come in and hang out and we're gonna grow that way right not all the time it's whatever but you're also supporting me which is amazing so when you're on kick it's basically only support i would say i would say if you're gifting <laughs> big amounts of subs on kick it's basically just money in streamers pockets right because over there there isn't a lot going on as far as community goes right do you know what i mean like if somebody gives subs on kick thank you because i get 95 percent of that that's amazing i'm too attached to the color orange so the overlays will still be that's perfectly fine uh you can also live stream on youtube and play nitro fyi on youtube cool um so that being said i do i am partnered on youtube as well one of the other favorite twitch streamers just had her channel banned just because someone used a stolen credit card and bought biddies on her channel oof thank god that flashbang was in black and white at least it wasn't bright for us wait she was banned for someone else's problem that's that's fucked up shit. all right you've got one minute to get your balls on the we're gonna track. do this one last ginger. race who just did the the ginger laugh thing I agree that Twitch needs competition to actually get its shit together. I don't think that competition should be kick. Then there's that. Yeah, Bezos is a greedy motherfucker and Doctor, and is Dr. Evil's incarnate. You know, this is my livelihood. This is how I survive. This is how, this is my job. So that being said, obviously kick has a bonus part that there's so much more coming to me than there is going to the big guy, Bezos. Uh, one of mine got a 24 or 48 after raiding into someone else. She ended stream, raided in, and boom, bam. Oof. So like, okay. Let's talk maths for a second. Ooh, hang on a minute. So... The five gifted subs that, that Al just did on kick. I make $4.74 per sub. So it's a $23.70 thing that he just did. On on kick, it's half of that. Or sorry, on Twitch, it's half of that. So five times $2.49, right? 
49 times 5 is, is 1245. You know? Ban Ginger! Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of BS. She didn't know, but she got her account banned. Let's live stream the party on the green streaming. Just kidding, just kidding. Kick has a way better video. I guess it depends. What is this? Film noir? Simple person. I'm doing Morticia Adams cosplay, so we decided to go with like this old school vibe today. I was, I did have color for a little bit. So it's like Pleasantville. There's the game sounds. Now that we talk to TechWiz, my game sounds are on like the system slider, so I can turn it up and turn it down. I see color. What do you mean? God fucking damn it, Dave. Yeah, she was in color when I came in because clearly out of us all, Ginger loves me the most. I do love the black and white. Also, hi, how you doing? I'm doing pretty damn good. Sturum, congratulations. You're entered into the giveaway. I am channeling my youth since I didn't have color TV until 1969. Wow. Don't mind me. Just lurking. Hey, that's totally fine. We do not mind a lurk. We love our lurkers. Lisa, last but not least. <laughs> last but not least, uh, no. <laughs> Shut up. <gasps> Thank you for using your prime sub on me. M Boff. Say <laughs> Shut up, that was good. Just so you guys know, since being prompted by this prime sub, thank you so much. Uh, with your Amazon Prime account, you get a free Twitch sub to use every single month. If you use it here, you go straight on the board. Boo! I'm currently on a restaurant date with a female boxer. She's going for the ribs. Oh my gosh. 69 was a nice year. M B O F P T. -E. Thank you so much for your Prime sub. And if you use your Prime sub here, you go straight to the board. You do not pass go. You do not collect $200. Thank you. <laughs> Who farted? Who farted? Jinch just sending us to our desk with all these maps. You know. This Morticia day. I don't don't even get to it. You go straight to the board. Guys, we are on a hype train. Halfway through level one. Uh, right, I understand it's a serious crime, but she wasn't involved with the scam. How would she have known that someone was buying stuff with a stolen credit card? I don't understand that. Uh, Emboff, thank you so much for your prime sub in eight months. I appreciate it. Whoever just farted, I appreciate that as well. Plus, there was something else. I'm not sure how. So there's a hype train mysteriously, and I don't know why. She's, she's solar, my plexus, till I... Oh, my. So how is this hype train a thing? What's going on? What am I missing in the background? Something's happening. One of my favorite VR streamers did a kick stream on Friday. About 30 minutes in, someone came in, got a bug up their ass, reported her several times, and said they had in chat. Shakes my head. The reporter got an Insta ban. And a bye bye loser? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Because that prime sub on the fart, right? But there's one thing missing. There's one thing missing because you need three. How cool is this? I wondered how good this colorizer was and check this out. That's okay. That kind of turned out. Get your balls in guys. Exclamation play. I'm going to join you as well. Exclamation play. That's pretty cool. It's not bad. Give me a little bit of color. It assumed that I was very, very pale. Kickstaffer showed up in the chat a little while later and said that she and the rest of us were being too wild and to tone it down. <laughs> no masks. We came for not masks. Oh my gosh. I feel that in my soul. You're not? What? Oh, drop in, guys! Star Fox 641 just this will be the last drop of the day, guys, and we're halfway through level one hype. Can't we make it to level two hype? 
I forgot to give out the Shmonly Schmans yesterday. The Stratus Mill, Silver Rona, and Tinker. I still owe you guys a week at Shmonly, by the way. I didn't get that done. My kids were wildin' after stream. I didn't even get the freaking things edited. So bad. Box, hey, how's it going? Welcome in. If I missed you, sorry. Campy Dave, thank you for the 8-bits. Oh, and I was late, but I did the retweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Can we get the train going? Where are we at for subs? 11. Okay, we're not going to worry about hitting goals today. <laughs> no. 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 All right. No. Hold up. Let's see. Dave, not quite. Boro is just a thuman. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, 76.61 for Borrow. I'm not doing nothing today. And you are one of my favorite people, so I love that. I like the black and white. Looks nice. Thank you, Night Warrior. How's it going? Question. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but are you able to make the Polaroid Noir to... <laughs> no. No, I cannot. El Borrow done flew in there. He really did. He was zooming. Ooh, DJ. That was close. Look, Bob the Seventh. That was close too. I can shake it like a Polaroid picture though. Ooh, Silver G. Okay, we got Lumi. We got Ooh. Silver G. I'm doing very well. Just enjoying the day. How about you? How are you so far? Pretty darn good. Can I wait for tomorrow because of my OF? Yeah, no. You can redeem it when I... Okay, so Ronan, whenever I give it to you, it's a week from whenever you redeem it. But sometimes I only allow it to be redeemed for a certain amount of time. It was so close. Because you have to choose, like, the amount of time it takes for the person to redeem it. Ooh, Night Warrior. That was so close. 40 seconds, guys. Can we make it to level two? Not quite, Al. Not quite. Stag is going straight down. Stag is going straight down. Let me catch you, Stag. Rip. Looks like it's going to be butter. 20 seconds. Can we save the train? Even in black and white, you still look amazing. Thank you. Thanks for catching me. Oh, come on. First drop I've done in a couple weeks and puts me in the corner. Borrow saving that train! Choo-choo. That puts you on the moon. I know Borrow will not choose a sticker, so I will choose one for you. Way to go. Awesome job saving that train. We got Lambent Light. Thank you so much. Dirty Eddie. Rayan. Solid Cobra and Elijah. Thank you so much for five gifted. Hyper's gifted gifties. Or I'm putting you on Michael Myers on his knife. And you're going to the moon. You're going to the moon. Um 76.61 for butter. Wow, congratulations. Oh my god, this camera's still color. I mean, obviously, it's a different camera. I guess I could have just shown the Coke on this camera. Durr. I Thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait for it. Borrow oh. to the moon. A knife? No. Can't see the bright red lips color Ginger has on today with the black and white. We are going to take the black and white off again because it's almost time to, hello? It's almost time to go. Hold on a damn minute. I tried the year 3000 for the first time last week. Kind of like it. Ooh. I fucking hate it. So handsome that Jason. Borrow, thank you so much. Star Fox, thank you for getting us over to level what? We're level three now? Did I bust? I think I broke my camera. Default. I think I broke my camera. No, I'm just kidding guys. Damn, now I want to try it. It's so bad. I hate it so much. Like, I don't ever want to see it again. It tastes so bad. Blech. So bad, so bad. Uh, Star Fox, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. So stay tuned on Shmoly Schmans for the Morticia Adams cosplay photos. They will not be out for like a minute um, because I have so many things planned in advance. That I'm already into like January as far as like posting new stuff goes. The black and white was good. Enjoyed the vibe, right? Are you being Morticia from the Adams family? I am. I am, Night Warrior. Who needs Christmas?
Me? <laughs> Skip straight to January. Oh, I see what you mean. I wonder what I have posted on Christmas Day or if anything. Hmm. So like all the cosplays I've done all week, basically I do like a series of photos that you guys never get to see unless you're subbed over on Schmolnishman's exclamation link tree at the bottom. When you got Halloween, upgrade to post rate. See more stuff. Hey in color. Hi. So basically I have stuff planned out for like two posts a week all the way into January or at least one post per week all the way into January. So that's taking up so much. Me, I need Christmas. My mom gives me uh, half her Christmas bonus every year to spend on what I want for Christmas. Forgot to mention, but my dad and I are paired up with the sweetest little seven year old and it was a blast playing with him. He did very well and we were in awe. That's so cute. Um, that spicy Mountain Dew that was released last year was the worst flavor I've ever tried. I hated it more than homemade root beer. One per, make it two per. You could do that. Uh, you are gone until January. No, I'm not gone till January. Homemade root beer. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. Absolutely. I'm be here tomorrow, guys. I might even be here Friday, depending on how I feel by the end of the week. I am a person that gets worn out very easily. Make it two per week. Maybe I could do that. That's not the right thing. I'm not supposed to be there. Okay, who's being creepy? Who's being creepy? Who's being creepy? I'll wear you out. Honestly, I'm a person who requires a lot of rest. Bubble gum gam, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the G spot. You found it. So I like to have my Fridays to myself. However, I am leaving you guys for some time to go to TwitchCon. So I want to add an extra streams. What ginger leaving us again? I swear to God. Bubblegum, hi, welcome in. Exclamation play. You have 10 seconds. Who did the IC? We are halfway through level three hype, guys. Halfway through level three. Can we make it to level four hype? If we make it to level five, I will do two weeks. Shmoly Schman's giveaway. If we make it through level five. My wig is cutting off circulation to the top of my head. But yeah, she'll show us stuff from TwitchCon when she's there. I totally will. I'm going to do some IRL streaming. I'm hoping to stream from the airport, first of all, and then pop in when I can. I'm going to have my gimbal that was purchased for me and my mic and my backpack. I heard some creepy sounds, so I'll be able to pull off a stream whenever I want to. It'll be another Twitch con of IRL streaming. Uh, it's like that then sad face. I want to know something cool. What? What is that? Enlighten? Hello? 40 seconds, guys. Can we save the train? Can we make it to level four hype? Can we do some giveaways? Technically, since you're cosplaying various characters, Ginge will be back until next month. No, actually, Ginge will be back when she goes to TwitchCon then because I'm not cosplaying during TwitchCon, right? So I'm going to be back sooner than you think. Mm. Where? Huh? What's happening? Did you invest in a power bank? I did. I have a power bank that should be arriving tomorrow. I have a phone case for my new phone that should be arriving Friday. <laughs> Jesus. So I have a power bank on the way. I have a case on the way. I've got a little backpack. It's supposedly going to. Christmas merch busting. No cap. Who did it? Who did it? Nope, I was out smoking a cigarette with my wireless headset on and I almost swallowed my cigarette. See, smoking's bad. <laughs> Darkness! Holy shit, seriously? Busted makes me feel good, whoa. Darkness just hit his 10k bit badge. Thank you so much. That is an amazing accomplishment. Thank you so much for the support, Darkness. You've always been a massive support. That is an amazing new badge, and I know it comes with an emote, and I'm pretty sure it's the I love you too emote. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's one of these two. 
maybe or i could be completely wrong silver g you are in the giveaway holy crap that's i literally have goosebumps like i would show you but i'm wearing a floor length dress i missed all the races can you restart them we were just doing like random races is it the i love you too okay who shit my pants who's doing that is that you dark car or darkness soul i can't i can't i don't know is it aces darkness ended up with a new bit aces shit your pants only one time and one fart darkness thank you so much for making it to that amazing amazing emote nope 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 that's it see you in january ginger and have a good birthday but it's still not my birthday i have a pig named ginger oh aces you son of a nutcracker would you like michael myers child's play chucky the elm street sign you find two more for you to choose from that are a little you got hellraiser would you like hellraiser the shadow or 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 jason chucky all right thanks aces thank you so much that one sends shivers down my spine uh we should schedule a regular dave sound off Dave, stand up and be counted. So many Daves. So many Daves. All right, Aces, let me get you two gold stars. Any Pennywise? Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, there might not be any left. Oh, 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 hold up. We have this demented little Pennywise. Shut up, Dave. Just saying, oh. I see you from Los Angeles. Wait, you're in LA? Wait, what? Morticia. Today is my birthday. Yes, me, Ginger from Beauty. I'm whispering in the hope that no one hears it because it's really true. So I owe you two gold stars then, Aces. Hey, hey, Morticia. Hi, Fletch. How's it going? Welcome in. That looked like Chucky and Pennywise had a love child. Let's look at it again because it was pretty damn weird. I'm not going to lie. no it's not my birthday uh hi rob so wait it is your birthday no just at the airport headed home i hope you had a grand time also i i forgot i also did your cackle darkness what does that add up to because i gotta get you a sticker aces thank you so much for the two jump scares but it's still not my birthday Thank you, Alkirian. There you go, Aces. Thank you so much. Even though it scared Prince and he's never coming back. Happy birthday, Ginger. I knew it. No, it's not. Okay, I'm with Sput now for a little before he works. Bye. See you tomorrow. Can't be Dave Fungus. No, it still sucks. It still is the worst thing ever. Nope. It's still horrific. Oh, and then it it's bad. And then it's like not as bad. And then it goes straight back into horrible. It's terrible. A few more for the road. You just said it was your birthday though. <laughs> but it's still not my birthday. Does this mean when you tell us you're coming back, it might not come back since you lie? lying liar who lies no sugar no suck i don't what does that mean what does that mean it's so bad i don't even know how to explain it i have no <laughs> it says on the bottle kind of it says it tastes like the future well the future tastes like shit ginger does not like it but she drunk half the it's not half the bottle suck sucrose suk Put a Mentos in the Coke and shotgun the rest. Oh my God. Don't eat the future then. So guys, don't eat the future. You're not going to want to eat the future. Okay, you know what? It, it's, it's that time of day. I know, I know.
Do you know how you sometimes Ooh. take rocks home? Where do you keep them all? And do you Ooh. ever polish the really nice ones? I actually have like this spray that I put on it, put on rocks that I keep uh, that I, I don't take too many rocks home anymore. That makes them shiny. Thanks to the climate change, the future is looking spicy. Wait till that Coke starts to go through your bladder. I would think this would be more of a Wednesday stream look, but I'm digging it. Well, tomorrow we might be Wednesday, Adams. We might be Pikachu. We might be Poison Ivy. We don't know. <laughs> hey, Apex. Oh, my God. It's still not my They're birthday. literally talking about my birthday right now. See ya manana. Hasta banana. Have a great birthday. But it's still not my birthday. <laughs> Can you be Uncle Fester? Great stream and cosplay. Thank you. It's this cosplay every time I stream, except for while I'm in Las Vegas. Have a great day, Aces. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate you very much. Star Pilot Pie. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, viewer attack will be on. What else are we doing tomorrow? I think... Mm, I actually don't remember what we're doing tomorrow. I don't remember if we had anything planned. Gee, the ultimate troll would be play that sound clip on your actual birthday. Uh -huh. My birthday is in November, guys. Okay, so it is literally next month. Can you be cousin it? Please link a bunch of... I heard after I went back to my chat. So here's the link, guys. If if you're not in this raid, here's the link. If you get left behind, I would appreciate if you go over there and make noise. You know? Uh, I don't know how many minutes to keep, keep this on. But that's where we're heading, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you... Next month, she's... I'm not! I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you very, very much. Enjoy your time over there, and I'll see you... <laughs> I can't do anything about the raid. It's going to raid in three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now it's giving me the raid message back. All right, fun over there. I love you guys. Who just did that? Fuckers. <laughs>